<laughs> what it do, y'all? Smack Life ENT. This is the Smack Podcast. TL with an essay here. And I'm here with. Miss Dean. Woo. And Rich Jockey. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful day. Nah, I, it was a wild day, but it's good, man. How was y'all day, though? Oh, yeah, it was chill. Yeah. Got the chance to witness the sky implode on itself. Yeah. Big thunder, big rain, but it was quick. Yeah, yeah, it really was. And then when you look outside afterwards, it must have been real hot because it ain't it look like it rained. Right out. Yeah, man. yeah the weather was polar. Yeah. yeah, around this time. Say, Kill. Shout out mm-hmm. to our sponsors today. Uh, first, we're going to start out with Miss Niecy Nicole. Her lovely brains again, sporty here today. Oh, gosh. <sighs> so, Niecy Nicole. Local rap artist, yeah. you know, go check her out. She like on that. IG. She really is. She got a little joint called Model Walk. That joint go crazy. Hey, Model Cole. Model Cole, my bad, Model Walk. My Model Cole, that joint go crazy. Yeah, she custom make jackets, shirts. Yeah, that's tough. All that. Yeah. Check her out. Real, I believe she's stationed out of, uh, what's that, 8th Street? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go in there and get some of her stuff, y'all. Q Hill, top in. Hey. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So. I know Savage of Lip Nation and her and Q Hill have a partnership, mm-hmm. you know, with yeah. DC and they out here teaching you. Shout out to all the local Bro, businesses just told me about that's that. like, I'm yeah. Shit down, my bad, oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Shout nah. out to all the local businesses, like black owned businesses that's employing the youth this summer. Like, we definitely need y'all. I definitely was talking to Q today and he was like, Bro, you know I just started this youth program. I was like, I, I got excited. Eh? I, yeah. You really like right. be working, giving back to the community. So shout out to bro. Yeah. Uh, our other sponsor, we got. Uh, we'll, we'll please uh, elaborate on this clothing line, please. Oh, um, okay. This is uh, intellect and in- ignorance. Yeah, inter- intellect and ignorance. Yeah. This is uh. I don't know. Should I give the 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 name of the of the of the person? I mean, we could just talk about the brand. You know oh, okay, something? yeah, yeah, the brand, yeah, man. What's it called? Intellected ignorance. It's intellected ignorance. Yes, intellected ignorance. Yeah, it ain't got slappy on it. Yeah, this is just a yeah. uh, this is one of a kind. This is the goosebumps version. I stand up, show it off, show it off my man. Matter of fact, and I got the. Uh, Shirt on underneath it. Pay attention. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Looking flat. So, you know what I'm saying? Then we got the shout out my man Ace Landover. You know what I'm saying? Big Landover shit. Um, yeah, I seen them new Landover bucket hats. I th- I'm not from Landover. I oh, might want to oh, get one. Type man. A shout out to the media prince. The media prince is in the building. You know, he be he be spoiling his, media, his bucket hats and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? But he not a Landover nigga. We going, we, you know what I'm saying? We got love for everybody out there, though. Yeah, me. Um, <laughs> yes. So yeah, man. Uh, what's some, what's some off the top of the head I want to get into? Cause this is a lot that came. Look, I'm all for starting with Bill. Let's do it. All right. <sighs> they free my nigga Bill. It's crazy because he said that last episode. I he definitely like, said that. Free, free this man. Real life. Hey, like, it took a week. It it's took crazy. A week and they freed him for when he said that. But it's crazy because he did his minimal sentence. So it ain't really like they free. No, he did his time. Shut up, shut up. Right. I don't know why. It wasn't his time. Oh, well, basically he, he did time. Yeah, he did, he time. did time, <laughs> but it wasn't, but it wasn't his. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Um, But yeah, shout out Bill, you know what I'm saying? I feel like they they try and tamper with Watch back. his, you know, when we reach a certain plateau and we are very influential, certain people can't have that. You know, he was about to make some some big boy moves. You had me. And, uh, oh, yeah, I they heard, caught yeah. him before he was about to do something big. Yeah, they they took him out the game like Stop they it. like they did Mike. Mm. Well, they took Mike officially out the game. <laughs> yeah, they they man. Yeah, similar what they did to Michael Jackson. Wow, Prince. that's interesting. I wonder what the fallout gonna be like. Is he gonna try to sue? Because they, mm. they saying the reason why they let him out is because yeah, he didn't get nigga, due process. If I was that nigga, I'd go play golf somewhere. I'd mind my business. Keep doing me. If he want to do what he do best, 
What's that shit? Slander? Keep, keep, that's worse know. than slander. That's that's defamation. Like defamation. Extreme defamation. Because he did time behind defamation. And defamation is just like you smearing somebody's name through a pile of horse manure. Mm, I mean, if he did it, that, I feel I like that's still up for debate. Like, whatever. But okay. if OJ you did know, it, that's I don't still up support. For oh, bruh, Quaaludes were the fucking drug. That's like. Bruh. That's like weed. Like they was knowing Quaaludes like weed at that time. So I ain't know what that was at first until uh, somebody had to break it down for me. I think they was like on uh, the movie Wolf of Wall Street where they took the little pill they took basically. Yeah. And that shit took forever to kick in because I think it was so old. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You thought everything was Gucci and fucked up the whole. <laughs> Why the fuck are they called Quaaludes? I don't even think they're legal anymore. That's how how very powerful they. I mean, but that was the drug, bro. That's like, you know how niggas on perks and shit now? Like, bro, no. He was, was pop. Quaid. He was, they so called, was, he was so called putting that shit in drinks. I have never met yeah, somebody. Yeah, it, it was secret. Like, it wasn't like the person knew. So, that's what they said. I'm saying, if y'all, if y'all know somebody, like, say you went outside and it's a neighborhood nigga, you be like, bro, that nigga stay with something in his drink. Don't drink from his cup. And everybody know this. Are you going to drink from the cup? Any cup that nigga ever has, do you want to take a, you going to partake? Cause I wouldn't. Cause you there, said if if you know that this nigga has a dirty cup all the time, would you drink from it? No. Okay. <laughs> I mean, no. And not, would you bring it up forty years later? Nowadays, dirty cup is different, but back then, dirty cup, no. I mean, to bring it up late, that's up for debate for real. Like yeah, you can't buddy. tell somebody when to bring up trauma uh, or when to oh. deal with it. And I, 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 I sympathize. No, I empathize with that. I'm saying, as far as the law goes, there's a statute of limitation, except for like murder and stuff like that. That you literally statute of limitations. That's why some niggas talk about their drug shit, like, cause it's past the statute of limitation. They just can't talk about the bodies that they caught, and they crossed that shit, and that's why he's free. They would have held him in that zone for 10 years, you know what I mean? They couldn't. Yeah, they was going to try. They definitely were. But, yeah, they freed him, man. Hopefully he could uh, maneuver and do what he was trying to do because, yeah. That nigga should play golf. <laughs> you say he's going to hide and just going to fucking Maybe island some. Go play golf somewhere, nigga. Stay out the way. <laughs> if only he, like, embraced the hip-hop wave and the young wave, like. Who? Felt like Who? Niggas Cosby? Had. That's probably not gonna happen. Yeah. Nah, no, I yeah. said if he did back back in the G. Uh, he like, wasn't oh, okay. even fucking with Eddie Murphy. So yeah, like, he wasn't he was for he wasn't for none of that slander or dirtiness or nothing <laughs> back there. He wasn't for none of that shit. So that he wasn't fucking with rap. Or yeah, I see what you mean though, if he would have. But no. Nah, you think he's he fucking with it now? No, he's not fucking with this generation at all. <laughs> I say go play golf, nigga. That's what I say. <laughs> Stay out of the way. Shout out Tiger Woods. Damn, I want to know what that nigga doing out For real. I Ooh. hope he's staying out the way, too. Please. That nigga was only in the media for some big, like, like that was a brick ago, though. Yeah, it was, that was a while ago, but it was still so memorable. Mm -hmm. like, I don't think nobody forget the phone call. Like, nope. don't, don't nobody forget While they used that joint as a, like, intro to one of his songs and shit. For real? Oh, God. Uh, I forgot what. Uh, it was a mixtape song, I think. Uh, mixtape about nothing. Or more about nothing. One of them joints, but he used that joint. Tiger was, he was like, uh, don't call my phone. Like, he was going <laughs> off. He was going off, so. Yeah, Dave Chappelle do the best Tiger hey, impression. Like, yeah. Dave Chappelle got that shit. Like, shout out to the GOAT, Dave Chappelle. Definitely. Um, do y'all know any Baltimore slang? No, please help us, cause <laughs> no, I, no. I get so much life every week when say, you just you bring us down know, and go uh, up there with you. I know yeah. dummy. Yeah, that was the first word. Was dummy it? is like dummy. what does that yeah. mean? That's like our mo. Well, it's like oh, they're yo, thing. but they're younger yo. Cause they gonna hate this shit out. When I first show. heard that. Shit, I hated <laughs> that shit. I'm like dummy. That's so different. He'll be like, bro. They always talk about us, but that shit like that though. They talk. Tough. But we call each other like, fool though. It's not that that when they say bop, bop is another one. Um, yeah. it's definitely another one. That's two. Yo, dummy. Uh, they slur they show. They pronounce. They my pronounce man too Trey. Hard. Like, that nigga, he, he threw that chew and that. Some that, shit like that. Yeah, that avenue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they twos and shit. Two. Um, my man, one day Three he came in drunk. Fucked for up me. in school back there. A E I O U's. 
<laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I've had shit so don't mind me. <laughs> I'm freestyling over here. I don't know how yeah, they. I, like I mean, I guess crazy. everybody got the accent. I feel like Lil Boosie is the godfather of Baltimore. He ain't yeah, never. I don't even know if he ever Trump. lived there, but he's the godfather of Baltimore. Because when I was out there, niggas was everybody was looking like Boosie. They had to fade. <laughs> they, they go hate I, I'm not lying, fool. If I'm lying, probably right now, fool. I like Boosie is the godfather, and they all I'm listen laughing. to Boosie, bro. Yeah, I'm trying to. They all listen to Boosie. Stop. Boosie, they godfather. I, I I fuck with Boosie though. Uh, oh, that's what I'm about to say. This nigga Trey, my man, he came in the room. He was drunk, but they say wet. So he was like, yo, I'm wet as shit right now. I looked at this nigga like, what the fuck? Hey, well, see, but he see, was like, nah, shit. yo, like, you had, I, from what that nigga like, was talking, I'm like, okay, I see what yeah, you're saying, but yeah. we don't talk like that where I'm from. Yeah. And you walking slang around tells about you, and be like, sir, what? Yeah, they slang sus. Fuck out of here with that. But, you just gotta yeah. be in there, a fuck, uh, or fuck. I don't know. And fuck, yo, that? that's like a loose cigarette. A fuck? Fuck, yeah, let me get a fuck, yo. I mean, call Jackson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, grass there. But we not they, even that far. They so really call we grass. Do grass? Because that's Baltimore crazy. is his own island. Yeah, that shit is crazy, bro. Like, we not even that far. So, like, I feel it like is. that's crazy. Like, where did all this shit come from? That shit, is. Hunger. Uh, y'all seen the Hunger Games? Yeah. Uh, everybody keeps bringing this that's, up. That's Baltimore. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, God. Like, you drive through that joint, it's like you see, like, how how like drugs really affected it because you could see the streets like the streets are cracked like it's rows of fucking boarded up houses i call it bando city shout out to the migos my first time ever being out there i seen straight boarded up houses like my first you know time what i'm saying driving through the city you might see some boarded up houses bro but that's when i say the city i mean dc but like when you driving through baltimore city you know and then I watched The Wire, so I think it's baddies in almost all yeah. the houses. You have. <laughs> but shout out to Baltimore. Too, I fuck with Baltimore. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Devontae Davis. That nigga just. Hey, when he yeah. was, uh, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about his fight. He kept shouting out uh, Atlanta, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, Atlanta, his new home. Atlanta, everybody home. That's like, that's like the new black mecca. Well, this ain't even a new black mecca, but it's a black mecca. Like, what we try and do over here in the DMV, they doing down there type shit. We aspire to be like that. We doing it, though. Yes. But I'm saying, like, Atlanta, that place, like, niggas be going to Atlanta, calling it home. The feds don't be fucking with niggas like that, apparently. Boosie stamped that shit, so I believe. Oh, if you get to a there. certain level, like, if you're doing your mischievous things, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, um, shit. That fight. Fight, the fight, the fight was lit, bro. Yeah. Media Prince came through, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, sorry, to bro. We just did an interview. So they uh, too have a safe trip. Had that safe trip. That Brad, like, like I like doing these interviews because it's just like we branching out and networking. We showing our talent on different levels. Um. So yeah, shout out to bro. The fight was crazy. Um, Javante, that's my new favorite fighter. Um, for a minute though, uh, like he's like baby Mike Tyson. A oh, nigga fought a nigga like six inches taller than him. It went eleven rounds. Like, and if he didn't knock that man What's out, his he would have lost. What's uh, his he's undefeated, but he 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 probably like twenty four and zero and knocked out twenty three niggas. Yeah, I seen it. So I, look, <laughs> so I, wow. seen that. I mean, really? I just got hip to the. I just got hip to him like not like not too long ago, but so. Well, I seen him with Floyd, so he like what they he got the money team behind him or something. Floyd fuck with him. Tough. But Floyd, I feel like Floyd fuck with greatness. You know what I'm saying? And Javante is greatness, bro. And he from Baltimore. Like, you know what I'm saying? And he from Baltimore. <laughs> That's how they hit <laughs> Baltimore. But uh nigga flipping off the top of the ropes after he went. Uh it was a tough fight. It proved Yeah, I love shit like that. Cause he he still said at the end of the day, I'm a nigga. Yeah, backflip from off the off the buckle. Like a wrestler, like, you know what I mean? Like a wrestler. He said, I, don't, I do this shit. That shit that, like, like proves, that. it proved that he was a, because everybody was like, bro, he fighting under his weight class. He fighting under, I'm like, bro, the boy can fight, and if he hits you, body or head, you gonna go down. Like, Oh, okay. That's last, why you call him the new Mike. Or I like mean, I, I Mike. seen it in the last fight. That boy went down like three times. <laughs> three he hit the nigga in the face twice, knocked him down. Mm-hmm. But that didn't finish him. He was fighting a uh, Hispanic dude. They, they be rocking. So, 
Hit him then, in the body. Later on in the same his night. His soul nah, left and came back in me. Later, earlier <laughs> in the same night. <laughs> earlier in the same night. The same day, it was that uh, Soldier Boy and Bow Wow versus. Oh, that night Bruh, was too lit, huh? That <laughs> night was probably all right. So we were saying this shit and like this has been the best time to be living like in my mind because I seen Gucci and Jeezy do a versus, but that day, the Bow Wow and Soldier versus was like that. So yeah. Who y'all think won? And then Jawan take fuck. But yeah, who y'all think won? Like we gonna hit for hit or like energy? Yeah, what you what asking we, for? Quality? Yeah. I don't say, know I'm how niggas say, be judging say, them joints. I'm thinking they judge off of, I off they of they hits, judge but now we, we talking I about I judge the off style. Who I, who I mess with more. Okay, so you're a buyer. You're Draco. not. Yeah, I'm you not Draco. Shit. No, my shit buys this shit. I'm Draco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas hilarious. Come on, shit, pure comedy. Entertainment is hell. I, <laughs> I don't be tuning in to them for comedy. I got comics I tune in to, but... As far as music, that music nigga, Bow Wow, yeah, Bow Wow was yeah. playing hit after hit. This nigga played the same. This nigga Soulja Boy played the same song three times. Like, three come times. on, that's ignorant as hell. You saw that shit? Three yeah, times. ignorant, bro. Like, yeah. what? of course, Bow Wow. He's gonna play it again. I got a remix. Hit. And then he brought Lil Romeo out. I was like, he about to hit that. I'm so I see DC college college. <laughs> Kill. <laughs> That shit was lit though. Yeah, this nigga Bow Wow got a meme going around too. That joint like oh. that. That, little, <laughs> bro, that joint is like that, bro. He said that before he even did that shit. He was like, this shit about to be a meme. And then he just like, uh, knowing that bro, shit. That joint was like, bro. Yeah. That shit was lit. It's yeah, fun. I say, I, say, I say that's the like number number two. Like the second best verses I've seen. What's the top one? Gucci and Jeezy. Like he disrespected that man in front of his face. And Pooh yeah. Shiesty was in the crowd. Say, go dig your pocket. <laughs> oh, he was. Home. Yeah, that shit was like that. you can't that. say shit. Nigga, that shit was. Everybody go say that was the best one. It was very disrespectful. Yeah, he told him go dig his home. Go dig up his dead home. That nigga literally told him. And then he him, continued to. Yeah, yeah, well. He said, he told him at the beginning, like, I'm not doing the verses if I can't play this song. He told him. He gave him a war. I mean, hey, he played man, that motherfucker. It's too. all respect. I mean, it's not all respect in Gucci's eyes. And, he said, I put and that then nigga street niggas be like, nah, bro, I can't fuck with Jeezy no more. Like, real like niggas that's on them trying. And he told him, they told me I can't fuck with Jeezy. One. No he said, yeah. send another one this way. I'm gonna send him back like I did the first one. Some shit like that. Yeah, it we smoking. Like he that. said we smoking on food tonight. I said, oh, Pookie Loke, that was his name. Yeah, I said, that shit was oh bad. my that god, that was Gucci. disrespectful. I was watching that doing on the big screen. Now people that like that, I'm gonna watch it. Like I ain't even see the even Trina versus. I'm not. Like, I ain't want to watch that. Like I mean, it's, but it gotta be somebody that's like they Keith and Bobby on right now. I'm oh, fucking mad man. I'm missing it, but I'm gonna watch that shit later. <laughs> Bobby the goat. Yeah, I mean Keith is the big goat. and nice, man. He got hits. You feel me? But Bobby the goat. Like, I've been doing it longer. He got way more hits. Bobby like the gangster Michael Jackson. Yeah, I'll agree with that. He, Bobby's the gangster Michael Jackson. Mm. The the raw uncut Mike. That Mike that. Didn't get beat up by Joe. Yeah. He just went outside and was on the block. You said what? Yeah. I mean, they do share the same last name. Chris Brown, Bobby Brown. Brown. Yeah, it might be his Brown cousin. Brown beating bitches. Damn, oh, bro. What you doing? Chill, bro. James Brown. Hey, uh, bro, I oh, like the bro. I don't judge you. Do you? You know, I'm not a judger, but <laughs> I don't think it's right. But hey, don't listen to me. It's not. It's, it's not. definitely not right. No, not at all. I do not. I, I, I will not be a judger. Well, not okay. That's God's job. Okay. Um, <laughs> Smack Life ENT is the Smack Podcast. Tuna, yeah. hey, hey, are you Smack the fuck? I am. Uh, yeah, we we got like fried. Um, <laughs> up for a minute too. Yeah. Oh. oh, shout out to Red Grant, bro. Is uh, definitely uh, running for mayor. Uh, he has my support. Um, looking to his. His, uh, what do you call this? His, his beliefs and campaign. You know what I'm saying? See what he's talking about. But uh, who else better to represent? I've been seeing him out in the streets. Like, he in the that, streets. He's touching the people. Right Literally, like, he, no, that's all he's it. good with y'all. That's you know it. what I'm saying? Um, he has a foot in the community. That's that's more than a lot of politicians we have everywhere. The police reform. Well, I ain't even going to bring reform. But, like, Policing, like, people from the city be like, like my father and, like, they was, like, when they was younger, the police were, like, of the community. Yeah, more So it's, like, you knew, you knew the feds. Like, some feds would probably look the other way as opposed to, like, bamming out every single time type shit. But in PG County, we never had that. So 
we've always always been on a fuck twelve type shit, and I nigga, fuck twelve. What's the different names you've been hearing for Fades? Twelve, five zero, oh, the Popo, the Boys. Uh, one time, bitch ass. Yeah, one time. The people, them people. Hey, I be hearing nowadays like in this generation, they be like Steve. They be calling them nigga Steve. Oh, what's that? Uh, Jakes, the Jakes. I heard the Jakes. Steve uh, like that though. I fuck with Steve. <laughs> Don't make no step, no sense. Watch out for the dance. Oh, oh for real? Again? We're not gonna do that. That's what we doing. I think Mother Nature just third or fourth time about. it's been storming today. Watch, man, it's been crazy. Man, this shit make me hungry. I, I usually you know, like I usually mention this towards the end of the show, but like she be off the rich movie eating today. Yeah, no cap. And it's still early. I think so- yep, Saudi's open. Look, Did y'all get Saudi's last time? No, no, because we never was able nah, to get it. Was closed. it was I just, was sicky poo. Yeah, it just been like a, a, a I idea. Sicky poo. <laughs> <laughs> I was sicky poo. What is sicky poo? Sicky poo. Sicky Please shit. explain that. Yeah, no, he, he be cranking that shit. Like he, he oh, that shit. Sicky, sicky poo. He got me saying that shit. Like if something go wrong, I'm like Damn, I'm sicky, sicky poo. I like that. Man. See, yeah, like DC, cl- yeah, DMV yeah, slang. DMV slang is like that because we just we on the go with it, and then niggas get behind the slang. That shit crazy. Now um, you gonna hear somebody baby mother in the parking lot? Oh, is you sick? Oh, you sick? No, <laughs> the fuck? Hey, I be hearing, bro. Poo. Some shit happen. I be like, oh, you sicky poo. <laughs> that <laughs> you sicky hurt, poo. That shit hurt. Those are different feelings when you sicky poo. Like, it is like, for, like that's like real life. Like, like imagine a person like going outside. Like about to be late for work, they about to try to catch the bus, but as soon as they get outside, they see the bus like real out past. I'm like, damn, I'm sick, you poop, like you sick as shit, like you off. That's fucked up. Yeah, that's a different up. type of hurt. Yeah, you be hurt as shit, like fuck. I'm about to call out now. Your only meal in two days, you got it in your hand and it fall. You sick, sick you poop. <laughs> yeah, that's sick as shit. <laughs> you sick. As shit. <laughs> Last little bit of weed, and you don't got no fun. It fall on the carpet, not even like a floor where you could just like. Hey, I done did some burnt shit before. Man. Hey, bro, you ever threw your weed out? I done threw my weed Nigga. out by accident. I, I definitely had. Times, I didn't bro. throw a J flew out the window for me asking it twice. I, the second time I stopped That's, and tried yeah, to find that J because I needed that. Okay. But uh, nah, I, I threw some away and I went in the motherfucking trash and I got that gas. You got me fucked up. Nah, I remember I was outside. It was raining. I remember I was smoking in the rain. Real loud. Try to smoke. Rain drop out of nowhere. Just hit the joint and put it out. Like I perfectly? Like, perfectly. <laughs> Lighter was done, bro. Like, I just had the last flick. I Disrespectful said, bro, ass. God, they want me to smoke. That's cool. He said, stop what you're doing. Time to I be hitting the fuck it hard and shit. That's something else niggas need to learn about. Like, the fuck it. This is the fuck it. When you just really hit the, like, you just got to say fuck it and you got to be done with it. Once you hit the fuck it, there's no more of it. You ain't going to stress. It's yeah. over. Fuck you got to say fuck it. Ain't nothing it. I can do about it. Fuck that fuck shit. It. That's crying over spilled milk. Don't do it. It's cows out here. I'm, never, I'm about to say, I never understood that shit. I'm like, don't cry <laughs> over I'm just <laughs> saying, like. What are you talking about? I never cows. understood that. But you just got like explain to someone because it's cows out here. It's like other milk out here, basically. I mean, that's how I look at it. Like, why are you going to cry over a glass of milk? Man. You got to think. Imagine you at the border, like, you real life. <laughs> spill your milk or something. You going to cry, nigga? Yeah, nigga, like, nigga, what the fuck? I mean, you know, you're going to be more milk. I'm going to be sicky poo because I got to clean this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, cry. Well, I never got that, like, that saying. Like, don't cry over spill milk. a lot of old ass analogies you just don't get. You're like, what the fuck does that even mean? What does a bird in the hand? Nigga! Worth, it's worth two in the bush. Well, I never heard that. Say it again. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. A bird in the yeah, hand is worth like two in the bush. I heard that in the. Uh, Ludacris said that shit in the verse. Oh, he did. I heard that shit. Don't uh, get I think that was on a Geico commercial. So when I'm thinking, if you got a bird in the hand, it's worth two in the bush. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. 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 Yeah, that's what Good for the goose is good for the gander. The fuck? Shucking and jiving. What does this mean? That's bullshit, right? Stop shucking and jiving. Crazy. Yeah. You just shucking and jiving for those folks. <laughs> when the cows come home. Y'all never, like, you yeah, really I be doing did. this to the cows say come that home. All the time. Uh, where did the cows where did they go? go and what makes you think they coming back? The fuck? I don't know. When hell freeze over. 
when that's never actually yeah that's never sometimes what what drops from the sky that's like ice ball it's hell yes so hell freezes over all the time <laughs> <laughs> you're like that <laughs> hey you're like that i'm about to start cranking that joint don't ever tell me when hell freeze over because i'm gonna be like that's whenever that's at, man thank you and that shit fuck up your car. I don't think you could get insurance for that. But I heard some stupid ass <laughs> thing. I don't think insurance covered for that shit. Um, oh my nah, god! I heard bro. a lot of stupid ass joint. She was right. like, um, "Never say never." But you just said it. No, nah, no. Nah, she said, "No." Nah, she said, "Never say never," because never, because never is ever with an in in front of it. I looked at this bitch so stupid. I said, <laughs> <laughs> "Never say never," because that ne- never is ever with an in in front of it. I guess she was trying to be motivational. I don't know. It didn't Should have told her to motivate these right. nuts. I be, looking at her. I be looking like, what are you like? I be looking at people so crazy. Like, I ain't going to say nothing, though. What the fuck does that even mean? Like, that shit stuck with me. It stuck with me, though. It definitely did because it was some stupid shit. So she that's that line definitely stuck with me forever. No, nah, I felt like my time was wasted. Mm-hmm. Bitch, it don't even mean anything. Yeah, that shit, uh, I was just looking at all real quick. Right, like, but it didn't make sense. What are you like, talking about? Nope. Okay. Okay. What's y'all, y'all got a favorite strain of weed that y'all have mm-hmm. smoked? I got three. Runts, of course. I, I second that. Um, I forgot the third one. Rick and Morty. It's this shit that's so hard to find. It's really a strain. Rick and Morty, like, I only mm-hmm. had it five times, bro. And they always vex. <laughs> and I pay literally. I think that's, I think. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. That's the one that got that, you. Yeah, so. Don't do that. Nah, it was worth it. It was worth it. $70 ain't never, ain't felt so good before. <laughs> that's all I can say. I forgot the third one, though. But it's Runtz, Rick and Morty, and it's something else. It's going to hit me, though. It used to be um Green Crack. When we flew oh, out for you, this was, nigga, the, I, was when I first started smoking, he was the first person I started smoking mm-hmm. with. Like, gang, that was, gang. I don't know, but it wasn't green crack like all all bucks. But during the days when we were smoking, like I met a strand called green crack. That shit, people even people always used to say like you, you had, a, had, that you had a mixtape called green crack. Yeah, I forgot about that. Damn, that was my shit. That was my shit. That was my shit. Yeah, about that mixtape. Might go listen to that. What about you, Miss Thing? What, what's some strange you like? Mm, let me see. Is it gelato? Okay. That one the is? real gelato. Yeah, like the real, oh, like the. I remember you open the bag and you got back up off it. Yeah. That one. Uh, I definitely had green crack, but I don't know if that's my favorite. I don't know if that's my favorite no more, neither. I'm sorry, it made me make you second guess now. Hold up. Because <laughs> nah, I still don't know what my third one is. It wasn't green crack. It was at first, but then we met Zah. <laughs> Where did this terminology come from? Because originally we said exotic. Like I remember in high school, niggas got lazy, exotic. So we just thought we broke it down to Zah. That's why I felt like yeah. okay, yeah. <laughs> this generation crazy. Okay. Just showing everything. Why not? I'm. I mean, it's not just this generation though. We all yeah, did man. it. That's the well, way yeah, we talk. Like the world we live in today is crazy. Yeah. That's the way we motherfucking talk. Uh, I think you really? said uh, just gelato. You got like two more, I think. Or yeah. maybe you said green crack. Oh, you named a couple. Well, of them. I, what was the name of Sherbalato? Supposed to be like a mix between okay. sherbet oh, and gelato. Uh, I got yeah. some uh, sherbet. I got some sherb cake. This some sherb cake. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, and it was like a strawberry shortcake something. Yeah, I don't know. Show, I don't I think was, that's the name of it, but that. It, whew, well, show, that smell good, by yeah, the way. It does. I'm not sure who it is, on. but <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Pay us. <laughs> yeah, we need that. Shout out to all the yeah. all of the cannabis industry. Uh, we fuck with you, so fuck with us. Yes. Um, we accept your, edibles your, as well. What's your, what's your favorite? Uh, that Billy Kimber. That shit used to, oh my, and it got to be the real, the real nah, Billy. Nah, the real, the real the really Billy, Billy is the the one. That's the one. Um, that's, I mean, you know, smoke the runs. That shit cool. Um, I smoke a lot of shit, bro. I be trying different shit. I can't believe I forgot the other strain. I fuck with hard as shit. Razzles. I fuck with Razzles, too. Um, Razzles pretty good. That shit was I used cool. to fuck with wet and cake hard as shit. Like, I was fucking with that shit for like a month straight. 
And I used to, re- bro, I used to be so ignorant. I used to tell niggas, like, every time I cop, yep, see y'all at the reception. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> like, I just be flying that shit up hard, bro. Wedding cake was my shit for a good minute. Damn. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I'm too I had hurt. some shit called Kush Cake. How was that? The Kush Cake was just, I like that. All the cakes? So, like, oh, is that the, the Cherry mood? pie. Like, what about Shout Skittles? Lemon man. cherry gelato. Okay. That joint like that. Yeah. Nah, I think that's the third one. Yeah, lemon cherry good. This nigga spending, I swear to God, bro. He maybe eight times out of ten, he got some motherfucking cherry like pie and that should be the one. Every time. Yeah, he don't smoke on no bullshit. Nah, he ain't gonna catch bro smoking no bullshit. No no. Um shit. Uh who was some of y'all influence? So you do comedy. So who was you looking at? Was like I could do that, Miss mm. Dean. Oh, that's a good ass question. <laughs> that definitely is a good question. Oh, Bugs, Bernie. Like I love Bernie's style. Like everything about him. You just seem like he was raw. Cool. Yeah. Rest in peace to him. Definitely. Uh, Samoa. Samoa was funny. And hey, she was funny as shit. Yeah, Dale what Gibbons. That, uh, Sorry to cut you off. No, you, what, what's that? Uh, it used to come on Club Comic View. Man, Comic View used to be lit. I would stay up <laughs> late and shit. Like facts. I was probably too young to be watching. Not a supposed lot of to that be shit, up. But, uh, Definitely not supposed to be up watching that. Martin was the host at one time. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Was Martin he? Was he the was the host of Comic View. No. Mine was the host of Def Def Jam. Jam. No, that DL was, Def was Jam. uh was it DL was that joint changed a couple times uh. I forget. Don't, don't, I, I was no, it was Ronaldo Ray. Ronaldo Ray and somebody else, and they had like a little bar set up. Now I remember Cut Comic View. I got that shit mixed up. I'm, I'm a little burnt Comic View. They had a vicious intro, too. Yeah. They they had everybody on that joint. It was Ronaldo Ray, the dude with the red head and that motherfucking mustache. Uh-huh. Okay, 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 okay. And he used to be behind like the bar with the vest on yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> he used to have a funny vest and shit, like. I know what he's talking about. Oh, he kind of remind me of Red Fox, but like the younger version. Yeah, he I thought they skin? was brothers. Mm-hmm. All right. I thought they might have been brothers, but you know. All right, so in, your influences. So, yeah, who else was your influence? And what made you jump out there? Like, let me do this shit. I don't know. I I never really thought I was funny, but everybody when I talk to them, they be like, "Oh my god, that's so funny!" I'm like, "Bro, I was serious, but okay, <laughs> let's get this a try." Let's talk to some people and. You know, just say what's on my mind. Get it out there. If, if you fucking with it, you are. Damn, it's raining like a bitch out there right now. Lord. I just want to let y'all know what's going on. Mm-hmm. Like It's raining cats and dogs. Look, that's another one. Another Euphemisms. One. There we go. Don't make no Where did that come sense. from? Because if you were. It's crazy out there, huh? If you were to see some raining cats and dogs, it's fucked up. I wouldn't want that because, like, yeah, when cats fall you. it, you know, yeah. like, the fuck <laughs> ain't nothing worse than a wet ass dog. I hate dude. cats, bro. I hate cats. But uh, cats have to, grown on me. Uh, we're not about to shame cats, like, so I would, Leo season. I, I would not fuck with cats. Ho, 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 ho. I fuck with Leos. Y'all, y'all, y'all built different. Mm-hmm. But y'all, y'all live. We've, I always vibe with Leo. I'm a, I'm a tourist. Like, my right hand, this nigga Tay, he a Leo. And then my Cairo, my own. But, like Leos are they cool to vibe with? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we would be a bit much sometimes, but yeah. you know, who ain't? For real, for real. Facts. These are facts. But yeah, like uh, influences. I don't know. I just I kind of get influenced from life because I when I get on stage, I talk a lot about life or like what's going on around me. People say you could try to stay away from political issues, but that's a part of life. So Definitely why can't I say something about it? And it's the yeah. stage, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, I might get up there and say something that somebody didn't have the courage to say. Be like, damn, you know what? She right. Yeah, fuck whoever, fuck everybody. Fuck when we ball. Yeah, politically, okay. politically. Okay. But I, I fuck with everybody, and yeah, shout out to G Dot. Oh, yeah, they got a show coming up. Shout out to G Dot. You going? I hope so. When is it? It's a uh, July 17th. Oh yeah, I got time. I got time. Yeah, we definitely gotta go and turn up. Yeah, <laughs> they be doing that. Uh, Cairo's in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, okay, Rich, where 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 your star come from? Where what's your who's some of your influences? 
I was like, mid Wayne. Wayne. Okay. Literally Wayne. Definitely. That was it. Just Wayne. Okay. Listening okay. to this man's words, I was just like, bruh, it's a punchline in every bar. I was like, I can literally do this shit. Because I knew so much at the time when I was young. So, did it. Gave it a try. Niggas kept saying, bro, you crank. Do that shit. Never took it serious right. for real. Yeah, I, I keep, I, I tell you all the time, brother. Put your foot on the gas, brother. Don't play around. Yeah, Don't later fuck on around. Life, <laughs> like, later on in life, it was, uh, it was Big Sean as well. But he's, bro, it's, it's just, bro, it's a lot of people, but mainly it was Wayne, bro. Definitely Wayne. It's a movie called, uh... A Bronx Tale. And bro's father say to him, you know, the worst thing in life is wasted talent. So I feel like that. So when I seen that movie, that shit resonated. Like, Don't waste your talent because one person might want your talent. Not just, I'm, I'm talking like, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody might want your somebody. talent and you, you know what I'm saying? You're not giving talents for nothing. Like, people aren't blessed with certain things for nothing. So use it, because one day it's going to be gone anyway. You can't use it no more. It's going to be irrelevant, even if you can't lose it. it. There we go. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, that's that's just my, yeah. But, yeah, Rich is a dog. Dean is a, she's, she's, people, to be a comic is kind of crazy. Like, you got to, you got to have some, some real, Kahunas. <laughs> I was actually thinking about doing that, like not like getting into comic, but just the whole getting into like the whole acting thing. Like, uh, yeah, it's not like about to do the movies skits, and shit. All that. You know that shit is lit. Shit yeah. crossover. That'd be a good uh, look. That shit is lit. Definitely. Um. Shit. Oh shit. Uh. My bad. Hey, mo. Niggas, talk about uh. Tonight. Uh, last <laughs> night I think it was last night I think so It's nigga uh, CP3 and the Sons Hey man I Patrick ain't gonna Beverly. lie <laughs> Hey Patrick Beverly Is a bad my ass nigga bro Like He the, the nigga that He the nigga that be playing uh, Ball in the park uh, Ball in the park in the hood Real like get bad When they lose bro He that nigga from Above what the river That take out the gun <laughs> He they lost basically, so the Suns got into the finals. They, they, so they waiting the for the Bucks. Out. The Bucks are against. They playing the night. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they play the night, and so basically whoever went from them, then they see the Suns in the finals. So basically, you know, when they won the finals last night, CP3 celebrating the nigga Patrick Beverly comes out of nowhere, just shoves him, push him like from hard, behind, like hard as shit, like pause, no homo. But yeah, push the shit out of him. Push the shit out of that nigga. That nigga <laughs> like he gave his life he to failed. God. <laughs> like, he, like he failed. He looked like he gave his life to God, bro. <laughs> like that and you know like that. this nigga is uh Eugene from fucking I'm Hey okay. On. Oh, this is the dude you you talking the, about Eugene. He just came back from the protocol of COVID. I'm okay. Like, <laughs> he just came back. He plays and Patrick Beverly pushes him. So you know this nigga could have he could have went down. Yeah, that nigga he could have went down too easily. He would get injured easily. That's not right. Shout out to uh, like he CP3 told him, he told and Lil Wayne. He though. He said, he said in the... Uh, fucking apology. My man would have had to yeah, see him. Fucking apology. <laughs> nigga would have been outside. Oh, you want to push niggas. You want to push niggas on the way to the final. Hey, bro, he was bad as hell, though. But he said his emotion got the best of him. Sorry, gang. That's what he said. Gang? We ain't gang. He told that nigga, sorry, gang. You almost killed me. <laughs> 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 Stop. Why no, you keep talking real. about this nigga? Because, yeah. bro, he really... I, I gotta look at it. You don't I'm about to look that yeah, shit look, up. Look, yeah, look that shit up. Please go to the picture. You don't understand. Look. Look. Oh, while we oh. on that, uh, we, we take a... You go ahead and look that shit up. The BET Awards. Oh, like, oh, oh, oh. We about to get into the BET Awards now. I mean, we can. Right, she on, about to look that shit up. I know. Oh, I want to do one thing. So she can understand better. Uh, all right, so you got Dwayne Wade. You have LeBron James. You have Carmelo. And you have... Chris Paul. All these niggas, they, correct me if I'm wrong, all these niggas came in the lead at the same time? Around the same time. Around yeah, the same yeah, time, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. If right. not, yeah, they probably were in the in same, the same draft. class, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, all right, you got all these niggas, right? Mm -hmm. LeBron was the LeBron, young, I think he was straight out of high school. Yeah, LeBron and D-Wade have nah, rings. I, I know he was. CP could be the next nigga. Melo's never getting the ring. Okay, but nobody's saying, like, that nigga needs to. Yeah, he's done. He need to go take care of some kids or something. I feel like. <laughs> I don't like Melo, bro. I hate Melo. I feel like Melo should have, he should have tried ball with LeBron. Like, yeah, so I feel like Pride kept that nigga from winning the ring. He wanted but to be in the line. He line. was balling with Iverson though. My bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. But CP3 is now in the finals, so he has a chance of getting the ring. 
to be another one in that class to get a ring. So, I mean, he deserves a ring. But if he don't get a ring, I promise you, I'm going to die laughing. I'm that type of thing. I, he I deserves a ring. <laughs> he but deserves a ring, but but if he don't, he, he fucked the money Is up. this his first time getting to the finals? Cool. CP3? Cool. Yeah, 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 this is his first time, I think. Hel- healthy. Yeah, I hear that healthy. <laughs> so they could get injured so easily. He's the next D-Rose. <laughs> This man is the, Eugene. The, the, the I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> oh, God. Shit is crazy. Damn, Eugene. I, nigga, you know, I'm telling you. I, I'm <laughs> I'm coining him, Eugene. That nigga, is, his body is made of paper. Oh, he, he missed the glass like shit. Look at this shit. Look. Hey, Uncle Shannon, Shannon Shop say, uh, what he call that nigga? He call that nigga. He played like Cliff tonight. He said he ain't play like Chris Paul. He played like Cliff Paul. You already know that nigga was going off. You hear me? Y'all watching that joint? Yeah, I'm trying to let me see the. I'm trying to let me see the push for a minute. Like that shit is like that. Another moment in, in he history. Looks, he looks so stocky. Like why he keep being hurt? I mean, he don't train like LeBron. Mm. If he trains like, like forty two Doug. <laughs> it's like nah. <laughs> he said, "Bro, bro, I built like a night. That shit crazy." Oh, there you go. Like, yeah, look. He like, was angry. On, no way. <laughs> he like, he's, like, he's a nigga for that push. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Bad man, shit, like, bro. That's real life. Or, that's in the hood, in the park. In. That's what. That's what. It, what it happened? Like, and, and, in some and hood near you. His whole that, back caved in. Yeah. That type of motherfucking like, behavior is the right? reason why shit get popped no. off. Because Patrick Beverly mentality. Patrick Beverly is the nigga from above the roof. Like, he the nigga from. You ever seen the one that fucked up everything, man? Y'all seen Juice? Yeah. Nah, yeah. not Juice. Fresh. Yeah, yeah fresh. That's my shit. When the hey, nigga I got beat in basketball, that's went and came shit. and shot the little nigga. Mm-hmm. That's Patrick Beverly. Yeah. Good thing he's not outside. <laughs> <laughs> Good thing he's in the. Don't fucking, take him to the rocker. Don't take him anyway. <laughs> this nigga is crazy. Imagine that nigga going outside, like I try run through, like try try run five, nah, bro. <laughs> like no. you real life don't play fair. Just, like, just yeah, don't dog. do. Did he get penalized a, for that? I'm pretty sure he's gonna get a hefty fine. The game was over. The he game was over. He's gonna get a good over. fine party, maybe. The game oh, was okay. over. I I I'll run this over. Shit. They lost. Like, he could have just walked to the. Yeah, I would have kept it like that. The game was over. I don't feel like y'all should find me. I hope he cranked that right. Nah, fuck that, man. And my man still would have to see him. Fuck, I don't give a fuck. Fuck a fine. We they gonna find him, find him. He could have fuck really, a fine. I just don't understand. Like they gonna be like they found uh, Patrick Beverly. He's okay, but he was tied up. If he would have pushed anybody, if he would have pushed anybody, he got else, caught in a DMV good. hurricane. But he pushed <laughs> the paper soldier. He pushed Chris Paul. That nigga is disrespect. Yeah. Nah. But you want? I need it. him to stop getting hurt. Stay I, strong. I, I'm gonna need that nigga to try to get a ray. Westbrook deserves He in the finals, Mo, so. Oh, Westbrook on I feel like. Nah, the same nah, nah, he not, but he deserves a ring. Westbrook deserve a ring if he, like, I don't know. He he do. He, he do. But I don't feel like he takes the proper. He had KD and James Harden on one team. They couldn't get that shit together because I he don't play point guard. He plays shooting guard. Like, but KD. You know what I'm saying? Like Russell Westbrook's gonna get you a triple double every night as he showed you. But then with that, with that, what, what, you know what I'm saying? You gotta balance that with the the IQ of basketball to get your teammates going and shit and know when to pass the ball. I fuck with Russell though. That's one of my favorite. So all pretty time. much they just didn't have like a good center. Like the energy yeah, wasn't like good the on the nucleus. Was, that's why KD said he got the fuck. It's a lot of shit. I don't respect NBA KD for leaving that joint though. Of getting the opportunity y'all. Like me, who I definitely wanted to see, D Rose. This nigga, me, right? This yeah, nigga could have been a dog if he would have never had an injury. He would have been like that. Some say that about Paul George, who I think is poo. I hate Paul George. I hate Ben Simmons as much though. Mm, I, I I'll take Paul George over Ben Simmons, but yeah, they're no both question. not gonna get you to the finals. You said Paul George not gonna get you to the finals? Has he? Got you to the finals. <laughs> so what would be like y'all y'all dream team, you know what I'm saying, that you know for sure will get you to the finals as well as get LeBron, you through the like right now on this plan? Yeah. LeBron James, give me KD, give me 
Damn. Damn. Give me a healthy uh Damn, I could put Luca out there. I put Luca Doncic out there, joint, just because I know he won't pass. You gotta them build a whole team. Off. If you just had to a, pick, I'm one. picking the top five nah. niggas. What about good. Lamelo? Would you put him no, on the team? Melo, Lamelo, he's yeah. Lamelo. Yeah, oh, Lamelo Ball. Ball. Yeah. yeah, oh, I he could be that. shooting guard. I yeah. put him at shooting guard. So yeah, yeah, I had who I say Luca, Lamelo, LeBron, mm-hmm. and damn, I got all the L's, triple L. <laughs> uh, Switch up as KD. KD. He, he would have jumped on the team anyway. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, we got to get the ring on. Okay. Uh, I'll be there. Who the big man? Right there. What about Giannis? Giannis. Yep. Hey. Giannis got to be the last. Because Giannis going. Man, Giannis crazy, bro. I think yeah, he got injured, man. Crazy. So I hope he, I hope he get LeBron better. LeBron still injured, too? LeBron just needed a rest. Uh, uh, I'm glad they lost. Because next year, if he play, he going to. He gonna be rested. Yeah, that, that sound like a good, good little roster you got there. Ain't nobody beating them. They hmm. could go to the uh, the Olympics. They can go to the Olympics and just them play. Who gonna stop them? Have they started picking out like the Olympic team? I think they or? have. KD was talking about that shit. He want sent. Okay, he on that joint. Yeah. So yeah, they they selected the roster. They better sweep through shit. Of course not. He needs rest, bro. He said, he said he not playing, he's playing, he really you probably miss his family. They was in a As bubble. He should. They was in a bubble. As he yeah, should. He probably. But yeah. As he should. Speaking of Space Jam, y'all going to see it? I don't know about going to see it, but it might come to me. But yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. How, how y'all feel about, you know what I'm saying? Everything open now, like legally. Like, you don't got to wear your mask and shit. Will, are y'all, will y'all go to a, a movie theater? Is that y'all? Probably not. Okay. Because. Uh, I would I'm, definitely slide the app pick once. I'm sorry. I'm spraying the whole joint down with Lysol. You hear me? Get, got the little portable definitely. joint. I'm going to have like a full seat radius around me. Please hey, don't sit hold your on, ass man. My, my folks coming. I'm going to have mm-hmm. different clothes. Yeah, you hear. Yep. You hear. Um, yeah, <laughs> but I, I do want to see that joint. I, I feel like, I mean, Goat James. Yeah, but like you said, that joint should come to us, if anything. Yeah. Is that an option? Like, are they letting you download it or, you know, it's a, it's stream a, it? You know, it's apps out there that's one that you stream. Look, look, look. Yeah, we live in the, the year where you can find anything on the internet, anything. If it drops that day, you gonna find, you can find it. That's why I'm glad I got older kids. I don't have to worry about searching and my son be like, hey, we find it come on, let's we about that. Sit out in the living room and watch this movie. Like, like we was watching Like, as soon as it hits Sunday, bro. Like, as soon as the shot come on, like, I don't even wait for that shit to hit, like, hit TV the night of. It's supposed to come on on Sunday. I watch that shit the day of on Sunday. Oh, yeah. I be watching this, like, catching everything early. The shot is definitely a vicious thing. show. Um, that nigga, who, who was the nigga from the first season? Uh, a Coogie. Nah, not Coogie, the, the Coogie brother. Brandon. Brandon, I thought that was his name. So the nigga that played Brandon, I feel like he jived like he had this a uh, cool span. That's the nigga that played Easy and uh, Straight Outta Compton. Oh, okay, yeah, I know uh, you talking about. What that uh, King Kong? He was in Skull Island. He was in one He'd of my favorite shit. movies, Superfly. Like Superfly. And, all right, so Superfly and and uh, Skull Island. I seen them joints more than once in theaters. That's how tough they was to me. And Straight Outta Compton. Damn. Yeah, he did, so that he nigga did was, that in straight out of condom. He did. Yeah, he, he did. didn't look nothing like easy and But the main reason was this. He had me like uh, that's probably easy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like he, he played he had easy's demeanor. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I ain't even meet easy, but I, I feel like easy wouldn't have been like, that nigga can't play me. He be like, nah, little nigga, I, I see you. I see yeah, you. I, I put my son on the uh, easy E today. For real? Yeah, we had to play first of the month, you know, it's the first of the month, had to play it. Damn, okay. Uh, shout out to them. Uh, shout out to NWA, Easy, uh, Ruthless Records. Um, shout out to the Bone Thugs and Harmony because oh, yeah. they got that first of the month. Who else got a cool ass first of the month? Oh, Fat Trail. Yeah. Wake up, motherfucker! It's the first of the month. Hey, uh, hey. shout out Free Free Fat Fool. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Uh, who y'all think got the best accents? Right, we gonna start in the USA, then we gonna start like abroad. No, I'm just, I don't know. I'm about to say I was about to say smack. England, England. All right, that's. I, I met people from the UK. They shit like that. I do like yeah. their accent. I like Australian accent. They do have uh, this nigga twin, bro. This nigga twin always be doing the Australian shit, bro. This nigga <laughs> funny as shit. 
<laughs> yeah, I fuck with Australian accents. But, like, in terms of United States, I love me a country ass boy. Like, okay. man, of country accents, hell yeah. I don't understand nothing you saying. What the fuck you say? Man, say you it again? literally love Pari Rilo there when he rap. But that nigga, nobody understands shit he be saying. But that nigga be saying the most powerful shit ever. <laughs> say, Kev, I like uh, Louisiana accents. Are you yeah, saying? yeah, baby. What's up, baby? And the girls, <laughs> like, man, like, they, I like their accent. Uh, so, what? New York, too. But abroad, Jamaican accents. Uh, I feel like Jamaican accents be blowing me. I feel like I hit them too much. And then I really got puzzled, like, what the fuck they said. Like, I still be lost, bro. Like, bro, like, if it wasn't for Shadows a little bit, I would still be fucking lost, bro. Like, I understand. I'd be lost they speak shit. That you make me, you about to make me go home and watch Shadows. You got That's to. a great It's a great movie. It's it one of my is. favorite movies. You go, bro, I'm telling you, if you watch that bitch with no captions, you're going to be lost. I had to watch that. No, I, I've watched it several <laughs> times with time. captions, and now I know I was everything like, they're saying. The so I don't got it. It's going on. Yeah, I ain't gonna hold you. The second time I had to watch the captions, because I think the first take time take the what and lead the what. Yeah, <laughs> take the what and lead the what. Um, shit. You want to get into the uh, BET awards? I definitely did. Um, thank you for that. So, uh, Taraji P. She uh. She just like hosted that joint. She shouted out. She said, "Put some mumbo sauce on y'all. Better have some mumbo sauce on my wings." I said, "Hey, whoa, <laughs> yes, yes." So she put on for the city. Like I, I shout, I, I fuck with. I I like her. Like she's a great actress. Like she works. She puts in work, and she been doing it. And she's a great example of strong women from out here. You know what I'm saying? Determined women. Women that could could come from whatever situation, and you know what I'm saying. Shout out to the DMV ladies. You know what I'm saying. Doing it with class. You know what I'm saying. She was on the goddamn BET awards talking about mumble sauce and go go. You hit me like DMV on their way, man. Like that's all I'm gonna say. Hey, y'all better invest in uh, capital mumbo sauce because stock about to go up. Their bottles that are that like seven dollars. Yeah, but she shouting out mumbo sauce on BET. Somebody about to shit. get with it. No, nah, I'm saying it's cool. Like it, that shit good. That shit is good. It's delicious. I was saying I like it ain't. Yeah, it's only in select stores though. You know what I'm saying? I, I seen Capital Mumbo sauce on like a few stores I've been at. It's like yeah, it's always in the giant for the most part. So shout out to them. Shout out to y'all, man. Them black entrepreneurs. Uh, are they black? I don't know. We're just gonna. Uh, I don't think they are. I, I mean, like the they they love. Make I like bread. mumbo sauce. So they shout local. out to if you making some good mumbo sauce, I salute you. Red, white, or blue. It's for the for the city. Put on for the city. It's for the city. Put some mumbo sauce on your motherfucking wings. Hey, did you ever notice how much white people be loving go go? Like, if you ever look at any of the film of Mochella, it mostly not mostly, but it's a bunch of white people out there. They love rock music and and heavy metal. You have to understand, like. We just have a more soulful heavy metal. The yeah. bounce be like, it's like when them they go crazy in the mosh pits. I think that's what yeah. they call. Yeah, it is definitely one of those type of vibes. Like, remember you? They, we used to chop <laughs> the instruments. Like, yeah, go go music. The shit. Shout out to all the bands out there for real. For it's so real. creative. Y'all, y'all so freaking talented. Shout out Rooster Music. I just uh, interviewed Bruh. He plays a guitar for like. CCB, and you know, uh, we just gonna say CCB right now, but like he played like the niggas. I feel like that niggas the Jimi Hendrix of the DMV. I told him that shit. That's lit. But like, I, the talent out here is, is crazy. And then to create what we create from like the samples, we put samples on the keyboard, mix it into the song. Like the create the creativeness that it takes to make a go go song. Some people think it's just if you only listen to Go Go, you're not gonna understand like what it is to be at the Go Go, cause it's not possible. You got here live, definitely. It's a it's an experience. It's like a, yeah, it's a whole experience. Like you can't just hear it. Like you might hear it and eh, I like this, or but if you are hearing it within the realm of them playing that shit, Mo, you gonna see the whole crowd reaction you can learn how to control the crowd just by going to a go-go show because they're gonna do some call and response shit who mm-hmm. ain't here they gonna they gonna salute your hood you know what i'm saying like man shit get crazy when they start on the hood yeah, i'm trying shit. to tell you 
uh, reaction. They did some shit with that. Uh, you gotta start up the train, and then they did the hood stamp. Ah man, like <laughs> it's good times, but dangerous times. Good dangerous times. Good dangerous times. Don't be from the wrong hood when that drink get thrown you ain't out. Bad being Niggas around your looking good man. like yeah. <laughs> Hey, so I've been seeing a lot of like DC or DMV oriented TikToks. I ain't know we was so like it, yeah. I mean, I mean I knew we was lit, but I ain't know we was on TikTok like that. Like I ain't know we was taking, taking that shit over. over. I uh, a couple of them joints. Y'all really be on that shit. Bro, I, don't, shit. I, gotta, <laughs> I gotta I gotta step my bullshit up. That shit, bro. It's like the it's like the new generation vibe. It's like the actually excuse me keep saying that. It's like the the world of today's vibe. That shit is lit. Today's vibe. Today's and Vine vibe. started a lot of a lot TikTok. Of, a lot of comedians. Yeah, for real. I was about to say that. My bad, but my mind just went somewhere else. So TikTok is like the new radio as far as, you know, back in the day you used to have to get your song on the radio for it to like blow up. Mm-hmm. Now TikTok doing that shit. Yeah. Like that shit crazy. If your yeah, song niggas, could go, a lot of niggas songs. Like, I done found a lot of niggas songs from TikTok. Like I'll be like, damn, it's going crank. What the fuck is it? I just see it at the bottom. Be like, bro, I be cranking that shit. Okay, shout you out would to the never for you think, page. You, yeah, you, yeah, you would <laughs> never think like, and I be looking like, bro, who the hell is this? Where they from? Never heard of them. But nah, it's a lot of talent on there. Definitely. Like yeah. Oh no, nah, what y'all think about uh, the black creators on TikTok like taking a strike and not creating like no dances because because they uh, running off with our shit like they yeah. always do. Running off on no, the plug yeah. about fifty I times. I feel like <laughs> how you say it's a black uh, TikTok, like how you made it to that side. Yeah, we should have a black TikTok just in general that way. You know what I'm saying? But how though? Like, it's gonna become integrated some some way somehow. Okay. okay. It's so going. I it's strike going that and reverse it. Uh, I I feel good about that because it's like y'all not gonna keep stealing our swag, but I mean they gonna do it anyway. We just we do it better. They can't do it as good as us anyway. So. But nah. So literally nobody was making um. No dances up to like the Megan the Stallion song. Uh, was that thigh shit? Oh, oh so, so wait, all right. So because I was just getting hip to this shit. So basically, like all the dances that's been doing on TikTok, that shit been like black people creating. That yeah, shit. black creators. That, like every dance, just about nigga. Who I mean, random shit. Y'all remember the Jabba? I mean, that does make sense. Yeah, what kind I of motherfucking niggas like that? Yeah, but, uh, that yeah it's black I people. Some shows. You know, that makes sense because I know I want to see a white person doing them dances that I see on TikTok. Nah. And if they no, do, it's uh, it's bland, right? Uh, What's good, fellas? What's up, y'all? Uh, can y'all watch the camera, please, sir? Thank you. Uh, we got the good man in the building. Um, yeah, man. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm snack. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even know that shit was uh, they was uh, that that was a creator. So that's why. So basically, so they they ain't gonna have shit to to do. Yeah, they haven't had nothing to do for like the past few weeks since Megan fuck? dropped the song. Like, it's not nobody making no dances, and the white people just been left to their own devices, and it's been tragic. I'm gonna say it sucks for, for Megan because like. I'm multifaceted and I'm on different levels of TikTok. Oops, my bad. I'm on different levels of TikTok. Like, <laughs> she yeah. said, I, I stepped over to the black side of TikTok because nah, yeah, you gotta I, fight to get over there for real. On my drink, on my so. Cause on my timeline, I be seeing the most ignorant, crazy shit ever. So it's like, I barely, I don't know. When I be seeing people trying to dance, and I was like, I, I don't be looking for that. I be just looking for the, the funny shit. So that's why so I be like, I don't see the actual dances. I just see people talking about it. Oh, oh, and, and then oh, like, see, I ain't even, I ain't even see that. Yeah, and then I can kind of double back and go see what they talking about, and it's like, oh, yeah, that is funny. I got, I got to look into that shit. That's crazy. I'm, I'm going to show you my ways. Niggas it's going okay. on strike. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people been going on strike. I feel like if we do that with a lot of our shit, they won't have nothing to steal. Bro, and they okay. They did a boycott on the buses and shit went down. Like, it wasn't making was no this? money. Yeah. That was back in, like, the 60s. Uh, but I'm just saying, like, the power of them niggas, not um, those Negro, those, the old folks, the power of them not riding the bus went a long way because wasn't no money being generated like we we as a people bro like hold a vast 
pop a vast part of the spending power here, but we don't own them the most uh wealth. Like we own one percent of the wealth, but we mm-hmm. spending billions of dollars right here. Shit crazy. That's cause as soon as we make our money and leave the community. Six hours. Six hours, nigga. Black dollars leave the community six hours. Other people would be a day a week. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Stay, you know what I'm saying? But us, yeah. And that's why we need more black businesses. Damn, bro, that's you know, crazy. If they give us reparations, food, they gonna be rich. They ain't about fuck. to do that. But you gotta think, if they do, they're going to be rich as fuck. Cause we not gonna do nothing but bad shit. Give it right back to them. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas gonna be that's Gucci what out. Was doing basically the, the whole like for the game with the whole last year to now. I mean, but that wasn't reparations. That was we. We fucked up, so we gonna get <laughs> that was we fucked up. Like, that not, was like, like that was like a preview the, the of world is fucked up. <laughs> they it wasn't a preview, of right? Nah, nigga, white people, everybody got everybody got it. it. Unemployment shit. Oh, if you uh, paid your taxes, you got that. Was just that yeah. was just relief. I see that in my eyes is like if everybody get it, you can't see it as reparations. But I'm just seeing it in my eyes as us getting something, fucking it up. So oh, after yeah. like once we even get to the point where we even get that shit, we're gonna fuck it up immediately, nigga. Yeah, that's what I'm in saying. six hours. Less, <laughs> less. This is gonna be about six hours. And all. <laughs> and yeah, you already know the wolf gonna get shut down, <laughs> son. Look, niggas gonna the battle. The wolf part got shut down because, cause like, Crap, man. everybody. And I've been saying this on on IG how people talking about like a, a big drop of food stamps. I guess hit the cards. So mm. like. Niggas running out yeah, of that Yeah, they was truck, like, don't buddy. be don't be out there. Matter of fact, K Grammy, that's who I saw. His burnt <laughs> ass, he funny, he's funny as shit. He's funny as shit, bro. He blew on the motherfucking stamp card, slapped that bitch on his forehead. <laughs> it was like, yeah, I'm on my way uh, playing the first of the month song. That's what made me play the song because it was fucking skit this morning. Okay. Yeah. That nigga funny. He's burnt out. Riding down the uh, shop. He got music, too. <laughs> this nigga was riding on the shopping cart <laughs> in fucking nigga. Walmart, <laughs> just throwing shit in the car. Yeah. That they going crazy. You don't think the wolf was was like packed today? Mo Russ, packed. Like everybody was in there. So shout out you to, you shout already out see to what the they do with it. Shout out to seafood. It don't be giving that like just to go crazy like that. It don't nah, never be giving it don't. that. But you know when niggas, you know what I'm saying? Niggas got a little money, they gonna go play with it. You know what I mean? Just play smart. I mean, you can't really play smart with food stamps that you flipping them bitches. You know what I mean? But when you get a little something, yeah, they gave us. They definitely let, 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 Check it out. This is what I've seen in my eyes, bro. They gave us a first demi, right? You already know niggas was gonna fuck that up. All right, they got out like and all. I don't know how much demi they gave. They gave us. They probably gave mm-hmm. us like. Yeah, the ones that Trump gave them Biden. Yeah, bro. I'm say, it was a couple of them motherfuckers. So, but each one is an example of the last of how they fucked it up. That's what I'm saying, bro. It's just so crazy, bro. But not everybody, though. But everybody in my eyes. I ain't gonna hold well, no, you. You're right. I invested right. in my business. I'm about to say. I'm about to say you're right because it's some investments that's been made. Definitely, definitely. What's going, on, bro? So, so stocks was being bought. Yeah, bro. And I, and I and it was cool when the world got caught cool on to the stocks and everybody was investment. But niggas should have been there. That shit. It's like everybody. I mean, but we ain't there. taught that, bro. When you went, when you was in middle school, high school, elementary, did they ever say? No, but they don't teach you shit they don't talk about at all. And I then learned most of our on, parents, I learned, like, I learned more they on not Twitter help. in a week than I learned in five years of school. Oh God, <laughs> this nigga's a researcher negative. He he gonna research some shit. I'm telling you. So you know Forex? Huh? No, I need to get. I've been looking at that shit. We about to learn that shit. My people do that shit. Like he, it's crazy. He be on my ass about trying like roll out, sign up, and get into it. But my brain don't want to do that right now. So I ain't even hold you. Respect. Like, I be really trying to learn. Like I actually sat there for a day trying to learn, and I'm like, bro, for like school, I don't get this shit. And they be like, it's so easy. It's you shit, know, it just take time. That and shit, for real, for time. real, yeah, just gotta, you just got to learn a gotta little cool strategy. Yeah, you just got to like, be patient with it. Ain't nothing too hard. It's all about strategy, for real. I've been looking at that shit heavy, like, the last week, because I'm like, I need something to flip. You know what I mean? Like, and you can make some bread off that shit. Uh, that shit, Forex is all right. They got groups for that shit, too. I don't, my man told me, like, yeah, you can get in this group. And basically, the group has collective ways to help you see what's going up and down and how you can get into the trade or whatever it's not like a ponzi scheme or nothing uh i i believe not but you know i haven't tried it so i can't speak on it okay true I, i'm trying to do it on my own merit you feel me like i like challenges so you know oh man oh my god so little kim was on the vt 
Joints, right? Disgusting. Did I? All right, so. Oh, man. Y'all what? remember the first Lil' Kim? Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, she was fly. <laughs> I love Lil' Wrong Kim. Wrong words, but you know what I mean. She well, looks nasty now, bro. Now, bro. <laughs> fucking robot. Uh, Serena just, uh, she she dipped herself in white chocolate. Serena? I think so. Serena? Are they lightening their skin? What's Serena? Yeah. But Serena, why, though? Ain't that the, uh, the sister that played tennis? The one that's married. Yeah. Yeah. Um, why? That's a great question. Uh, that's a great question. But uh, Kim fucked her. Like she fucked it up. I I felt bad watching. I seen her the perform. picture of Renard. People talking about that motherfucking Prada, <laughs> the Prada <laughs> label, or her bangs. <laughs> yeah, Shorty. I don't know. I fuck with Lil Kim. I feel like she was a whole vibe. I don't know who got in her head, but Nicki I wish Minaj. they didn't. Nah, she was fucking with herself before Nikki. She was actually doing that shit before Nikki. Yeah. Like actually like fucking up her body. Yeah. Lil Wayne said, I like the broke Tony Braxton, the first Lil' Kim. I could take a female hood rat and work with them. <laughs> that was my shit. I fuck with Wayne. Shout out Wayne. Nah, that just can all that body dysmorphia shit that just come from it, it look, it's too deep. I'm yeah, too high. Yeah. I don't feel like it. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, get, I will get into that too, but man, I know a close person. They asked me recently, like they about they had to get their uh, lips done. And they had to. Yeah, she okay. had to get her. Well, she wanted to. She didn't have to. Okay. It made her happy. So <laughs> I'm like, bro, you don't need that shit. That's that but it's like, when is enough shit. enough? That's why I said I'm not going to get into it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It should start subtly and then you end shit. up looking like, you know. Lil' Kim. I don't agree to that. I wasn't going to say it. I don't agree to none of that shit, man. I don't want to mess this up. Do what you want to do. Hey, what was, what was your favorite uh, Fast and Furious, bro? Oh, none man. of them. I never even seen. Um, hey, if you, are you about to go on a mission? Hey, you know what you should do? What? Find some funnel. <laughs> but, uh, Brief intermission, everybody. Um, nah, but oh, I never seen, I never seen, I just talk, like, this shit is how it's supposed to be. But I never seen no fast, except for the first one. And I heard the new one some shit because it's Jets in it or something. Okay, first of all, how the hell have you made it this far in life without seeing a single I made fast it this far in life without seeing a lot of things that's like, 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 I hate superhero movies, bro. I feel like that shit cheese. Like, no cap. Like, bro, niggas supposed to get their ass whack, bro. They was doing too much. Like, it be like, your nigga, appreciate you. Yeah, I got like, the fuck up. I don't know. But, but, uh, yeah, that shit cheese, bro. Like, for example, like, now, only thing that wasn't cheese was, uh, this why I respect Batman. Like, he don't got no superpowers, right? Right, he got money though. He got his, he, and one of the Batmans, he got his ass whack. They jumped his ass in the alley and he died. That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> like that's literally how it's supposed to be. Niggas be real loud. Nah, all this shit be teased. But how did I get this far? You ain't seen Watching, a single uh, fast. I, I seen the first one, literally. Okay. I seen t- ten minutes of Tokyo Drift just for just for the bow wow part, just to say, oh yeah, this nigga is in it. Okay. Um, what else? I seen the part. I don't know what fast this was, but it was like uh, Tyrese, The Rock was in it and some shit. I seen that that part with Ludacris and shit. I seen that part. How long that fucking part so was? So you just see minutes. parts of these movies? No, I seen the first one and I gave up and I seen other parts <laughs> along down the road of my okay, life. Okay, okay. <laughs> That's how it happened. But I don't fuck with fast. I hate car movies. That shit retarded. You know, I'm, I'm trying driving nice cars and I'm I like all that shit. Um, shout out to all the studios in the area. We in Hustle Five with Smoke Responsibly. Oh, you said you like oh, we nice smoke responsibly, but Hustle Five Ways. What you say? I got a question. So, right, go ahead. um. A lot of people be like a twenty or thirty minute drive be like long as shit. You feel like that's a long drive, Right. I drove from Florida. Uh, uh, what the fuck is that jump called? Panama City, Panama City, Florida. I drove from that jump back here, bro, and that's like eighteen hours. And I'm like, so if you, I mean, uh, thirty minutes, an hour, bro, that's nothing, bro. Yeah, somebody be like, like if somebody, I get somebody it's a committed ride, drive, they, be like, they be like, oh yeah, that's drinking like a good 25, 30 minutes. I'm floating that. I'm trying to make it 15. Some people be like, nah, <laughs> bro, that shit too I long. Foot, Which I can see why they say that. They be like, it's too long. I mean, that it is like a fucking it episode depends. like Seinfeld or some shit. It's like a fucking episode of anything. I ain't trying to take a 30-minute, 
to forty minute drive for a dickhead mission. But I mean, if it's if it's if it's for something. You drive for some ass, that's what you pretty much saying. Or if we making some type of business deals or, you know, something productive, I'll take that trip. It depends. Mm-hmm. How far are we talking? If I'm going on vacation, I'll drive wherever. If nah, I, she said for some ass. <laughs> we keep it real right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, how far What's are we talking? What's the furthest I drove? <laughs> like, yeah, I, how I'm far ashamed. are we talking? Nah, I took a little city. trip to, uh, like, like, Eastern Shore one time. For some ass? I mean, it was a vacation oh, yeah, slash. Like I mean, it, it was, was like a, a little, little, you know what I'm trying? saying, getaway. You know what I'm saying? Nah, like, day. she talking like, also, like, a quick day. Cool in, like, you just cool it until I hit your phone. Like, uh, 45 exactly. minutes, 50 minutes. Easy. Hey, that's Baltimore from here. Okay. Yeah. No bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the. And now, now I probably would not drive that far. You gotta be in my 30 minute radius. If not, then uh, you gotta be on the beltway. I don't like, probably, I never probably <laughs> drove. I never went. They, you know. I mean, now not at all. Actually, they come to me. Oh, yeah. I say it was like that. Man, you getting the pussy but, delivered though. Uber does great things. Look, shut up. <laughs> oh, Uber better not be out here selling no eggs. They not selling. Well, like, they I just backwards. They it's, pick it's up and up. You hear me? Pick up, drop out. You hear me? Man, I wonder how many sneaky links have been sponsored by Uber. Damn, bro, they should do that, bro. They should have like a late night Uber sneaky link, like how they got the XL. They need the LS. I mean the S L. I mean it's not the XL, the S L, the sneaky. You the sneaky me? link. They need to, bro. They gonna pay us. Like it, that would be tight, <laughs> for real. And it don't have no ride history, so like yeah, the shit go yeah, out the app. Yeah. It's not no ride history <laughs> at all. They gonna be like that. Look, don't be stuck. That joint gotta look. be inconspicuous as hell. Come on know. now, because they ain't gonna give us credit for this that shit. Let's not talk. Like that, bro. They're not they gonna, gonna be like, who the hell is no that? Credit. Pull it up. That's my SL. <laughs> my Uber <laughs> SL. <laughs> Sneaky link. If I see a commercial pop up, y'all owe. Y'all owe up. Uh, you hear me? Y'all pay, bro. Um, <laughs> hey, that's oh, yeah. like that. Man, we oh. just gave these niggas an idea. Um, I don't know what that joint called. That shit just in my head. But. We in Hustle Five Ways, you know. We got the studio set up. Um, Definitely. If you need your podcast shot, you know what I'm saying. Uh, we shout out to Coalition Studios. That's Q Hill's joint. Um, Bro be doing work in that joint. Um, shout out Fly Zone Studios. They be doing work in that joint. Um, Midnight Studio. Shout out to them. You know okay, what I'm DMV. Yeah, we got a lot of studios, man. I remember Basehead Studio. I used to fuck with them. Uh, Ab and shit. Ab was, Ab was that nigga. That's crazy. I remember Basehead. I remember I, uh, I ran in a P-Wild. I'm, I'm going in the joint. He leaving out the joint. That was the first time I met bro. Only time I met bro, but shout out to uh, them. Uh, it's a lot of Go-Go Studios. Blueprint. That's not. I don't know if they do. I've been Google, to Blueprint too. That's crazy. Yeah, I've been to Blueprint. They they drive tough in that joint. Um, but it's a lot of studios with like our band. Our area is different because we got bands. We got live instrumentation heavy. Like so, our studios. We do have recording studios, but then we have like big band recording studios. Like they have like I feel like we could be like Motown. Like how Barry Gordy had that uh, the Hitsville joint. Mm-hmm. Like, we have a couple of his views out there, strange. Let's say that. Definitely do. Most definitely. That'd be lit. I didn't even know it was Go Go Studios. It's like, a, I mean, it makes sense. Them. It's a few of them. Like, uh, it's, it's one right by uh, Crystals. Like, damn, they attached to the joint. Like, oh, for real? Like in that shopping center? Yeah. I like, ain't never know that. It, I was in that joint one day. I seen. I was linking up with ABM. When did they practice? And then they came out. I seen, uh, bruh, that sang with reaction. Uh, fuck, Keith. I seen the nigga Keith. I'm like, damn, bruh. So I'm thinking reaction in that joint, but it's CCB and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? But it was just different bands in that joint. And it's crazy because there's a few honeycomb hideouts like that. In plain sight, but in the cut. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, your dog, Poop Shiesty. I think that nigga got indicted, fool. Damn, off of Instagram, off of, he had a hundred dollar bill that they looked at the serial number for. 
I, I, that's what sources say. I ain't. But they spanked his ass on IG. Damn, whoa. Well. And they doing the most. Free pool shiesty, man. Big, uh, bro. bro. If Gucci started that shit, how was he the big bro? What you mean? I don't know. Because that's the one they look up to. Wouldn't that be Big Bro? No, not that. His ad lib is like, brr. Oh, shit. Big. Oh, yeah. So, like, I know what? my mind everywhere, but Coy Lee Ray, where mm-hmm. is she from? Um, I don't know. She came from Trippy when I first noticed her. Trippy Red. Shout out Trippy Red. I that's how I knew her. about her. Like, when I first knew about her, he was dating her at the time. So, that was like, what, 2015, 2016? She's not from out here, though? No. Uh, I don't know. Nah, cause she beefing with the, uh, <laughs> the is Roland Ray a comedian? He's a mm, he's a influencer. Like yeah, he's like a personality. Personalities. I, I just didn't understand how that guy started. I thought she was from out here, but okay. Yeah, why are they beefing? Uh, over the purr. She's, <laughs> she's a purr. Over the purr. He's a purr. <laughs> that purr shit. Yeah, that shit is retarded. Uh. Then know uh, you could beef over a word that just belongs to everyone, but okay. I was beefing over the word literally. Somebody had a dirt to say that they literally. They, yeah, because I said I'd be saying that shit like twenty million times a day. That's this nigga's religion. Yeah. Literally, I say that shit a lot. If I said I could have a chain that say literally, I would have a chain that say literally. Like, you should do that. Literally. That's a good idea. Nah. But why are you beefing with people over the word literally? The league gotta be like, like they, they the league gotta be like somebody, that. Is it the way you say it? Nah, they was like. I was like, I'd be like basically like oh damn that's 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 my word or that's like our word or the people that I know would be, I'd be like that's our word they'd be like I've been saying that and I'm just like okay I'm, that's just my word I be saying that shit uh, <laughs> saying, like, I did find my that, word that I own. I'm Caucasians like, be like me. Caucasians say that shit like what? when I used to go around Towson and shit like the upper the uh, the bougie people used to be like literally I just literally did this and this and like you know but y'all swag that shit. Like, bro, I literally just... <laughs> you know what I'm y'all saying? that shit 24 seven. Right. <laughs> y'all crazy, man. Yeah. Have you seen any of the Fast and Furious joints? Yeah. What's, what's your favorite joint? I like the earlier one. The ones. first one, right? Yeah, I like right. the that's earlier like, That's ones. how I feel. I feel like the first one I like Too Fast, Too Furious. Wait, wait, that's what Which I Which one mean. was that? Oh, Tyrese? With Tyrese. It, yeah, that's what that I'm talking about. That's the yeah, second like the one, earlier right? movies. Oh, well, I only seen the before, second one. Before Tokyo Drift. <laughs> I forgot it is a double one. The Tokyo Drift was wild. I, yeah, I didn't like how one. sad Moss was getting his ass whooped in the joint. Why he got to be the only nigga in the joint and over in Japan getting whooped? <laughs> that nigga <laughs> sad Moss. That nigga say he that's ain't fuck rap. Fuck rap. I feel said, him yeah, though. He said fuck rap. He said uh, he he making movies now. But that he movie some shit. I heard. What movie? Fast now. Nigga, it don't matter if it's some shit. He got paid. They all got that. It's bag. too many fast movies. Like slow the fuck down. Yeah, yeah they they, they are doing it. Slow down. But I mean, when people start supporting it, they'll start making. I bet you the last joint got like big numbers. So, like, are they gonna be making this joint into their geriatric is? They gonna be what? in the in the souped up hover rounds and shit. Until somebody die. And what? They in, I heard they in jets, airplanes or some shit. They in the air chasing cars or whatever. I don't know. They are in jets. It's retarded. That's what I read. Okay. Yeah. Stop what you know. I mean, a nigga caught a car in a goddamn commercial. Uh, Vin Diesel caught a car. Is that nigga? Is he a nigga? Vin Diesel. Yeah, I heard that he was like half Negro. And half what? Whatever he looks. I don't know. What you think he look like? White man. I don't think he belongs to the black delegation. Yeah, I don't think he belongs to the black delegation. I don't. Look like a white man. <laughs> All right, real serious. Not this, not serious. I just just gonna say Beagle or some shit. Like he like look like he could be half. Fan Diesel, Latino. nah, that nigga look like a straight white man. No, he don't. I don't <laughs> think he look I, white. I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't throw. He has white. a swag. He got swag, but like he, I never seen him as like his nose too round. Okay. Okay, see, I don't, you know, like I don't it's not, pay It don't give me super pointy, like, like you can smell what's in my food from a mile I see away. What you're like, saying. I see what you're saying. White people know, or not all of them, maybe, but them joints be. Some of them joints. <laughs> they be big pointy. shit. God, no dang. reason, bro. Um, Stop with you. Nosy name. ass motherfucker. Long as shit, like, the fuck? You smell what I'm talking about? Slim. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, I don't think he want to be black, even if he is. He, he might not want to be. I don't think nobody wants to. I ain't never seen him. 
talk about I like Black Lives that. Matter and no shit like shit. that. Like, <laughs> I don't like the terminology black. Oh, that's what I'm about to say. All right, let's put a pen in it. I don't, but I don't like black because black is just like, what, yeah. Where can we can't come from black unless the planet or whatever we came from was planted black, but I don't believe it was anyway. So the thought. Uh, is 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 it still Pride Month? Cause I ain't trying like shit on people parade. No, I'm not say that shit Officially, over. yeah, I think it's over. Shit, okay, it's a new so, month. Right? Well, it's not mm-hmm. even a shit. It's just like I'm gonna just put this out there. People be like they can be transgender as far as feel like another sex, right? Yeah. So why can't a person feel like another race? Oh yeah, sometimes I identify as a white woman. I identify as a 35 year old white man. Sometimes. Me too. I, I tell somebody, whoa, wait a minute, buddy. Caucasian you wait. Oh, so kizzy. <laughs> don't, okay. don't let us sit up here and have a white conversation. Hello. I get that shit from him. Hey, how bud, are you? how are you? That shit from him. He yes, told me about uh, to today. I, day, and, uh, I study that shit. The way he talked, like he said, he's a 35 year old white man. I study that shit. And I got interviews with that shit. Got also to. with my name. That was like two out of three. But shout yeah. out to Terry. Shout out to my mama. Yeah, you just you add that, like, that little. Let me get my voice together. <laughs> mm-hmm. that little, but it's sad though that we gotta do that add like a little you got, white to it yeah, yeah, yeah. they say it's a professional man, fuck that cause cause I could hire somebody from me and them could have a conversation like you know what I'm saying just they just need to say what it is it's more relatable to them they can't yeah. relate to us when we coming it's, in we be like hey yeah what's up slim i'm about to come in this motherfucker real quick <laughs> what's up you know? sir <laughs> i'm trying to get his job bro. you hear me with a coin hey, man, hey how God. much y'all paying or the real life. i need the bag you know me hey real live i'm not into hey, like, hey, slim, i'm not about to answer all these goddamn yeah. questions mo i'm coming at this time they <laughs> gonna be like, what? Do you walk, don't I'm worry about that shit. I take you 12, bro. Kill, <laughs> mo. Interview, bro. <laughs> Fuck you need to know my social food. Social? Hey, Slim, when well, do I stop? Well, let me call my mother real quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, you just gotta be able to, I feel like you gotta you be a chameleon. my birth certificate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can bring my birth certificate up here. <laughs> hey, I don't give a fuck nobody say, bro. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, whatever, bro. We like that. <laughs> we ignorant as shit. Like, I love yeah, that we could code switch. That's what it's called. You should yeah. be. Nobody would not know. Like other places like that too. Yeah. I just think it's a black thing. Like we gotta be able to code switch. Because we have to. Yeah. We, I mean, we literally have to. You don't want to talk too proper around your friends, but you don't want to be too ghetto around them. Facts. What is too ghetto? Too ghetto is uh, colloquialisms. Like shit is just broken down real short, saying yeah every two minutes. I feel like being too loud is too ghetto. Like I feel like it's I don't see nothing obnoxious. wrong. I love ghetto. I'm look, I've embraced yeah, that fucking too, term. But yeah, like, but it's a time and a place for everything. Yeah, yeah. You know like, what I'm saying? Like, I think that's what we if if everybody just get that in their mind, then everything will be smooth, but like it's a time to turn up, and then like if you're in a business setting or if you're in a quiet setting, it's time to chill. You know what I'm saying? It's times to fight, and some people go to the streets and they have to shoot, but don't shoot when it's a cookout. You know what I'm saying? Like when it's innocent people that could possibly be that's hurt. Ghetto. That's just yeah, ignorant. I just think that's stupid. Okay, yeah, ghetto call is stupid, like a cult. I feel like, like that's a being loud in the morning, bus well. on the way you to think school. So? Yeah, yeah shooting shit up. That's disrespectful. That's not necessarily ghetto. <laughs> Yelling on the bus? Because you could be no, a white child. out in the fucking morning, like, like, ratchet and shit. That ratchetness is ghetto to me. Okay. So what if it's white kids doing it? Are they being ratchet and ghetto? Have you ever seen a white kid being loud on the water bus? You'd be surprised. I, I, I'm, 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 I can't recall. You be, I mean, not on a morning bus. I mean, because where we catching buses at is predominantly black. But if you go somewhere facts. where it's white kids at, the motherfuckers be out there acting crazy. You're definitely right. Like, You're definitely right. Are they being time, ratchet and They be drunk as fuck. Very obnoxious. On but the train and all that. You go past a certain stop, like gallery place on up. Like, it's nothing but white people. And the motherfuckers are loud and unruly sometimes. But are they ghetto? I I don't think that's ghetto. Ghetto. Um, I feel like ghetto is has been a co- a cash pot. Everything like from our culture, they call that shit ghetto to make us not want to do it, so that they could go ahead and cash in. Random question: How do y'all feel about? Did you ever wear like fat font? Uh, no, that's no. not what it was called. No, <laughs> apple bottom jeans. 
I ain't never had enough bottom to fit into an apple bottom. I'm gonna okay. be real with you. I think you, you was so. talking about baby. You was thinking baby fat. Baby, baby fat, fat, like fat any of those. Th- but oh, yeah, baby fubu? fat. Did you wear fubu? No. Never? Okay. Uh, what other black? Because I'm just naming all black shit. Like, I'm, I'm just wondering why. Sean John. Sean, Sean John? You wear Sean John? I think I had a shirt. Like, like it never really took off G Unit clothes, uh, uh, state property shit. No, nah, I did have a state property jacket. I fuck with state property. But, like, like typically the black clothing line, Russell Simmons has something, too. Yes, yeah, five on. Okay, okay, okay. But, like, it kind of, like, dies down. Like, oh, niggas just don't fuck with that shit. Yeah, they ain't rather had a super-duper expensive, like, oh, you know, it's not, it it's not black. It's just like today where a lot of people don't really want to buy from black brands, but they, uh, you know. Yeah, I heard a little loot. bit different. Oh, goddamn too. money. I hear a little bit different. Like, but it's we crazy got the how designer, It's crazy how designer came to like a point where that shit's like a trend. Like, bro, like that shit was not. As and niggas be having a fool like, shit too. It was too. popping, but it wasn't like a main thing. Like everybody, fuck, I'm seeing Balenciagas everywhere, bro. Like it was never. Some like of that. them are mm-hmm. faux Balenciagas. Okay, yeah. Balenciagas. <laughs> but Balenciaga. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, just fall bro. apart in the rain. Just don't do it. If you're going to wear it, just wear the real thing, y'all. I mean, if relax. you got to get a fake pair, you don't need them. Go get some shit you can afford, now. If you going to be fly, you could be fly in some shit that... We we good at that shit. We good at being fly with less, especially being out this jump. Like, that's why I feel like... That's what I was about to talk about, New York fashion versus DMV fashion. Like, I don't even I feel know like what they wear. So New York more of a Thames? Nah, nah, nah. Like they more of a they the fashion capital of the world type shit, supposedly. So so they would if this is in season or not. Like it was this young and her name Amber. Uh she was from New York and shit. But like she used to come with like Burberry shoes, but like they had to be in season type shit. Oh, I see like, what that's you the mean. type of people they are. Like if it's not in season, I'm she was like she was to take her shit to the thrift store and shit after she was done after that season. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Nah, nah, yeah, I, feel, I feel you though. Yeah, nah, they used but to definitely be like that. I feel we could, we, we want to swag some shit regardless. Yeah, I feel like, like it's more swag in this area, like how you put it together. It don't matter what season it's from, because if you think about the throwback jerseys, those types of things, like everything gets recycled, back. it comes back. I don't, I don't, I haven't rocked a jersey in a while, but when I was younger. You wouldn't fly if you ain't have a couple jerseys. Then they had the throwback shit. Mm-hmm. It's a uh, store that's in, I think they got one in, what's that, Waldorf Mall? St. Charles. It's like all Jersey, but it's like, they got all that. They got, hey, aren't, they got like this. It's one of Iverson like that, okay, too. Okay, I thought so, I thought so. So, yeah, shout out to Iverson and uh, St. Charles. Because them joints like that. Like, you can go in there and find some tough-ass fits you can put together. That's your, that's, that's, what's the, what's the, that's <laughs> <laughs> what the you bur- talk about? I was about to say, what's the best ball I got to take? That's mall. Remember Towson Mall, bro? That shit was it. Um, Pentagon Cool. Uh, Lennox Mall out like, uh, Atlanta. That joint, uh, that joint. Uh, uh, I heard. Green I Bride, that joint the hood. But I, I fuck yeah. with Green Bride, too, you know uh, Um, Mall's. We, uh, the outlets. <clears throat> You'll put Iverson in the top three? For what? Cookies? Just more. Yeah, cookies. I say cookies. <laughs> That's yeah. what it's most popular yeah. for. Them cookies, you know what I'm saying? Um, rest in peace, black. We had black black service in that joint. I ain't know they even did shit like that. But I have seen got a bunch. Yeah, like, so I, I don't know if that's a church or some type oh, of. Oh, the joint on the lower level. Mm-hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. I keep forgetting it's a lower level. You could get your shirts made in that joint. They used to mm-hmm. have PA Palace. It's not there no more? It might be, but I don't. No, that I joint. Every time I go past joint. it, is, I think it's it. Hold on. See, you bringing up old memories. I, I walk y'all past y'all had next tails? Yeah. You had a. Oh. Well, I had a boost. I ain't had like I a next tail. Go to the uh, PA Patterns to get the $1 ring tones. They had, every, they had this big ass book. <laughs> you got the go go joints, the half yeah. joints. Like, that shit was lit. That shit was lit. PA Patterns had the. And they had the CDs for you, like to go. A lot of people might not even know what a CD is now, bro. Which is crazy, cause like 
I be understanding how parents be like shit in movies, you know what I'm saying? Cause they used to have the big ass uh, vinyls, which are coming back, but the vinyls they put the needle on and mm-hmm. shit, then they stop. That's how I, how I see these and shit is. We used nah. to have cassette tapes. Not for Low real, key. definitely did. The Walkman. Don't let your fucking tape the pop. <laughs> the Walkman before what, what's, the CD player. What, what's your word again? Uh, sicky poo. Yeah, let your motherfucking favorite tape pop. <laughs> you be sicky poo all day. <laughs> CD get scratched. No Man, more CD. That's the worst. Why my son asked me today, he was like, Mom, was TVs around when Grandma was little? I'm like, motherfucking Damn. really? <laughs> How old do you think we are? Hey, Carol be like, you were born in the 1800s? <laughs> I'm like, nah. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah it was rough. Nah, fabricated, yeah, yeah, it was real rough. I had to walk to school like 15 miles. Back in my day. Mm-hmm. We had to catch breakfast before we ate it, <laughs> and then we walked three miles just nah, to get to. Think, oh, they catch a pigeon. <laughs> you got like you got to just sit back and think that shit is crazy. Like niggas ain't they ain't had gasoline back then, bro. Niggas was riding horses. I couldn't imagine it. Imagine pulling up to your plug house on a fucking horse three o'clock in the morning to try a cop. <laughs> we have no gasoline, bro. <laughs> got your That's what you need to hold hey, up. Locked up. Is that somebody niggas walking up the no driveway? Gas, bro. Niggas with straight acres, nothing, just lying. They ain't had ringtones. They had wax they seals had back then. That's how you knew who it was about a wax seal. Carry your pigeons. Yeah. <laughs> send my pigeon off and send this. Message. I think that shit cheese. You don't think pigeons could do that shit? No, they probably could, but, bro, not every pigeon. I feel like I feel like some pigeons literally get lost. Them boys probably be retired. <laughs> so that joint be like, I'm not yeah, going bro, back. Like, <laughs> fuck that, I ain't they going fuck them back. Niggas. <laughs> yeah, you be. Some pigeons probably be getting lost. Like you gotta think niggas out the window. Like uh, go. They probably what they get the message the next day. Probably nah. <laughs> you be How do they know where they going? Right, that's what I'm saying. Like them niggas be getting lost, probably, bro. Like, nah. Let me go back home and see where the fuck I was supposed to be going. Thank God we don't have that now. Curious. Now you text message a motherfucker. Hey, you ever get mad when somebody call you and they clearly could have went in a text message? Yeah. All the whole the time, time, uh. All the time. Like, don't fucking call me and you know you could have put it in the text message. You could tell Siri what you want to tell me. That's why my shit's down. Do not disturb. Like 30. But that's dangerous, too. What? Do not disturb. Because you don't never know who the fuck about to call yeah, you. Yeah, you don't never know what you want to miss. Mm. But I don't even got kids. Who? Yeah, I can. Yeah, so I, I so, can do that. <laughs> my shit can stay with you. Do not disturb. Niggas with responsibility. Even if you don't got a kid, you got like a, a business or some shit. You, unless that shit run by itself, literally, then you, don't, you can't be on do not disturb. Well, pretty much everybody who contacts you, you could just hit them right back. That's love. Let me not answer the phone. I got somebody threatening me. I mean, I'm the nigga. They know now since I'm on camera. I'm the nigga that will watch you. You call me, I will watch that shit like the whole time. As soon as that drink done, right back to Twitter or Instagram. Damn, I don't feel <laughs> like, bad no now. Like, no cap. Like, that shit be, I don't be wanting to pick up, bro. If people need to understand. People don't want to fucking talk sometimes. I hit you back in like five minutes. Yeah. That's I, just me. I'm that type of person. I don't like texting too much because then it's like, bro, we wasting time. Like, I call you so we can just... In this conversation, and it's, it's done. Like, we got everything we need to talk about the way type shit. Just send a paragraph. That's all you got to do. Put everything you want to say or Because then they, talk people don't even read the whole paragraph. They're going to skip lazy, through it. I'm telling you. you won't, you're not going to read the I'm whole paragraph. I'm a reader. Paragraph. Fuck that. All uh, right, you. All right, but most people going to be like, you just send me a paragraph. <laughs> and they're just going to be like, all right, I got the gist of it. But if I'm talking to you, you hear me, you hear my tone, you know what the fuck I'm saying. I'ma ask you, do you know? So by the time we off the phone, everything will go. I don't want to keep texting. Like, that should take up more time. You gotta sit there. And I could just call you real quick. I don't even gotta hold the phone. Some people got AirPods, Bluetooth shit. You know what I'm saying? Quick little conversation, make your day. You know what I'm saying? Unless you can't. You know what I mean? You can't do that shit. No, I'm talking about like somebody calling you to be like, "Hey, I'm on my way." And then hang the phone up. You could have sent that in the text yeah, message. That's stupid. That's don't right. don't fucking call <laughs> nah, but, me. For what? But some people don't answer. All right, so say you don't fucking look at your phone till they outside and you're not ready now. When that's why how I'm thinking. That's how I'm thinking. Like they not gonna see this. Let me call. 
so that I can confirm I'm about to be outside. So now I'm like, mm, fuck with me. I don't know. I don't get that. I just don't like to have conversations. Fuck that. Text me. <laughs> Say Q. Hear me. <laughs> yeah, for real, for real. Text me. Um. Damn. Who had the best bounce beat? TCB, that giant, it's a really nice bounce beat. It is. I feel uh, like they the took it the in. Bounce beat. Yeah, they took it and made it into something totally different. But I don't know. Let me see. TOB, they all right. TOB does have, they're the crank of the bounce beat. Yeah, like everybody just takes it and make it their own. Cute. Shout Can't out we'll the, to the cover the boy. Is. I ain't even no bro. You know. I ain't know that was bro, but bro was in the building too, man. We we got some stars popping in this joint today, you hear me? Who was that? Cover boy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um shit, uh shit, uh how you feel, um about reaction. Nah. Yeah, reaction died, like yeah, they, they got that shit. shit. They got yeah, that shit. Reaction. They got that shit, you hear me? Oh god. Got a little bounce beat in my head. See man, we need some motherfucking music. Man, for real. I fuck with us, huh? I mean, I don't know if y'all accepting that thing. Yeah, did I, <laughs> did nobody see all the freaking posts? I, matter of fact, I'm gonna post that train again. Like all the artists and people like sending their music in. Sending send y'all that shit music, in. young please. Like, so I'm gonna just say it like this: I got different DJs that I'm speaking to that we on we putting together like top cranks of the week. You know what I'm saying? So we need the crank. In order to do that, or me and Richard just make a, a fucking top fucking ten of our music and shit every week until y'all start okay. sending shit in. You know what I'm saying? Trouble man. You know what I'm saying? But we trying to push y'all along. We trying. You know what I'm saying? We fucking with people. I ain't gonna lie and say we gonna play everybody shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. If I don't think it crank and Rich think it crank, we gonna play it. But if I don't think it crank and he don't think it crank, we not gonna play it. And vice versa, type shit like. And Miss Dean too. Like if she don't like it, you know what I'm saying? There's no shade. Absolutely none. We don't you know like that saying? shit. You know, I tell you. Stop being me. <laughs> I tell you. Go work on that shit. You know and my man just dropped some shit, so you gotta check this thing out. You heard of a person called uh Hit a Jug? He's a DMV artist. Hit a jug. Yeah, hit a jug. Name tough is young. When I first heard the name, I'm like, oh yeah, that's tough. Hit a jug. That's yeah. a tough ass name. It is though. But you got he just dropped the uh a video called uh, Fuck 12. That joint like that. Fuck 12. Yeah, that joint like that. I got to tune into that motherfucker. That shit came get that from Get that joint to like 5K. Ease that. Yeah, get it. Run my mind shut up. Um, But yeah, that Fuck 12 shit came from Amigos. They got a whole song called Fuck 12. So I feel like that shit like Atlanta or Georgia area. 12, yeah. Shit. I mm-hmm. want yeah, to 12, they let go anyway, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it... Belongs to the culture now. Yeah, that's 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 what we say. That's what I say. Imagine, Twitter. imagine you to like a female, right? That's like up, like she's up, and basically she got her own thing going on. You know, let's say she got business or whatever. You know, she got her own money, making her own money and shit. Yeah. All right, and she wants to talk to you, and you're just you being you how you are today. Would you have a problem with dating with a female with that type of status, or is that like something like? big for you nah it's uh most niggas don't even like uh, females making more money than them. that's, that's not really the care. problem that's because a nigga will i i'm i aspire to do certain shit so whatever a woman has that really don't bother me but to answer your question like is women with that type of like that's up like that they got a certain mentality like they that alpha I'm not no bitch. <laughs> like, I'm not no bitch. I ain't no bitch. Like when it comes to, like two men, like I'm not about to be a bitch to for a man. I'm not about to be a bitch for a woman. But if you know what I'm saying, she could still have her feminine femininity. Her you know what I'm saying that being able to work with me type shit and not want to do this this and this because I got this type of money. It's not gonna be that type of party. I'm gonna end up finessing her ass. She's gonna get finessed. But a woman that's you know what I'm saying? That I could coexist with. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm up for that. That's motivation. I need to step my shit the fuck up. Hmm. Okay, and let's say if you was already up 
and you know you had your little business or whatever going you know you're just up in your own mass uh, mindset miss dean mm-hmm. and you basically um you you're not in a relationship or nothing you know you, you let's just say you left for one like a while ago months ago right all right let's say you want to get back out there you you know you you up at your status you think it's gonna be hard for you to jump back out there like if like for a female at a status of them already being up they could provide for their own um, you think that should be hard for them to like jump back? Some out people, there? yeah. Some people be intimidated easily, or maybe that's just not the person that you know she's supposed. Well, I'm supposed to be dealing with, but like, you know, what you, what you mean intimidated? Some people be intimidated by intelligence. They intimidated by the fact that a woman make more money than them. You know what I'm saying? And start doing stupid shit or sabotaging the relationship. I feel but like everybody that fuck don't up. make you no know better than nobody. I feel like everybody fuck up their chances. Everybody when they start to assume assumptions fuck up everything. Yeah, man. Yeah. Proper communication could save yeah. a lot. Swear to God, but then they could be capping. But you also gotta be respectful. Like, don't think that just because you make more money than somebody that you're better than them, or you know, you're supposed to be treated a certain way. Based off of just your money. The world we live in today is crazy because. I mean, I'm that's America. I find the right words to say. <laughs> that's <laughs> like, America. Like, so this is bad. I don't even know what to say, but it's just like. It's not that. It's not what. It's, it's, it's crazy. Like, I don't know. World gone crazy. <laughs> Mass produced and test crazy. tube I, don't know. I feel like tricking. Not tricking. I wouldn't say tricking, but that's the only word that's popping up in my head right now. There's a lot of tricking going on out here. <laughs> like, I don't know. A lot of simp shit and a lot of tricking going on nowadays. And people are justifying this shit. I don't think as long as the, the two people in a relationship make each other happy and, like, they can coexist, it don't matter what nobody else. But then you got up, bro. I feel like today's world... Social media plays a big part in everybody's relationship. I was just about to say like, that it don't matter like what nobody else Some people else feel like they don't want to be embarrassed. Some people feel like they don't want other people being their business. Some people feel like they just don't want to show you know the person off, and then the other partner will feel like why are you not trying to show me off? Like, yeah. like, bro, social media plays in everybody's relationship, and that shit is stupid. Shit is very stupid. Shit, so, would you want even to... when they see posts, they be like, they feel like they relate to that post, or that post is about their relationship, even if they see it in that day. They be like, hmm, maybe this is about me. Maybe this is a sign. <laughs> would you want your girl to follow? No, no. Would you want your girl to have a a, a social media account? If you like, if if she was like, do you want me to have a social? Media? Like, if she asked you, yes, it's your life. Like, do you like promote your business? Do what you have. You got that's you. I don't care. If she has a business, and then so, you know, if you're asking me, you know, look, this is like this. That's like one thing. You asking me, all right, can I have a social media account? Sure, I don't give a fuck. Do you? Next step. Can I have a close friends? Why are you asking me these things? Do you? It's your fucking life. <laughs> Only fans. Wait a minute, bitch. <laughs> like, you going you too far. Like, 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 you a nigga too comfortable. Inch. Like, yeah, take a like, whole mile. She testing the waters real yeah, quick. Like, what is you up? doing, bro? Like, Pulse. the close friends is another thing. Like, if I'm like, and some people feel like if they're not into close friends on your Instagram type shit, then, you know, if like in a relationship, like, you know, if y'all together, that person, your spouse, not in your, your close friends, they feel like it's a problem. I feel like social media is bullshit, and yes. uh, a lot of people are addicted to social media. But I feel like not, I mean, stop saying I feel because I don't even these are not emotions speaking. But women, women like are are, are more mo- emotional, right? So it's like shit hit a little different. Yeah, with you know what I'm saying as far as women. And then there's social butterflies. You know what I'm saying. So I mean. To each his own. I, I I don't judge, but uh, I don't go for everything either. So I don't. I mean, need you could be that. with some, be full with some shit, and if we not in alliance, then I mean, you can do your thing. You know, over there. People just need to be doing something that's they like. Why would you do something that you wouldn't want done to you? So if you don't want your significant Facts. other to have an OnlyFans, then bitch, the answer's no. Like, why would you even ask that? Facts. If you're not giving them half of that shit, I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know a couple. They were live cranking the OnlyFans. Like they were live like they sharing the money man, with they with they, they significant the other. But they they rolling. They 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 cool with it. Like they cool with the whole idea of them. They don't give a fuck who sees them, and they cool with it. I mean, some people like that. To each his own. Yeah, to each his own. Because I really right, is that they for the streets? What mm. that behavior? That that behavior is for the streets. I don't. I don't do that. Is is OnlyFans? Or the streets, it is for the I streets. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You because you're no for everybody. I mean, like anybody who can pay, 
can literally have access to whatever it is that you're showing. So we got like ten minutes, oh, fifteen nine, minutes. With weapons? That shit like, crazy. Got a fucking like, scepter, bro. It's like where'd you get that? They got from? a scepter. <laughs> man, that shit is just so it's crazy for the eyes, man. Everybody could be on that joint. I done seen the craziest people. I done seen my close friends on that motherfucker. Really? Like, mm-hmm. like the closest people I done went to school with on that motherfucker. Oh, right? yeah. And parts of them you ain't never seen before. Man, shit is shit is crazy. Shit is real. Let's just put it like that. Um, yeah. Uh, shout out to the strippers. No. Why? I don't like strippers. I respect it. <laughs> <laughs> What's your beef with strippers? Yeah. I, mean, I, don't, I don't. I respect everybody paying those strippers. I just feel like. So you'll fuck with the OnlyFans right before you fuck with the stripper? I wouldn't fuck with either. Okay. I'm just don't, I don't feel like the idea of giving my money to like I'm with like, you. like just like if I'm walking in the strip club and I'm just throwing dollars, I could be spending this shit on better shit than like nah, investments I'm, or something. I'm definitely with and you. And if I'm throwing money in the you strip club, you're investing in somebody's education. May, you're maybe right. you're maybe right. Somebody's <laughs> daughter is shaking ass to, to get by. You're definitely Somebody. probably right, and you just put it in a great perspective. But I see it as this: niggas go to the strip club, you know. You know, get they like I don't know, just to get relaxed or relieved. You know, just to be around some. Some people stuff. have like a uh, business meetings in the strip club. I understand this, but it's different. I'm just saying, like, you th- I'm talking about throwing money, throwing yeah. money. Oh, man. okay, okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that idea. I, I fuck did. with strippers more than because I feel like strippers are, they're like, uh, that's I'm fucking uh, turned. Uh, uh, that's bridge. why I like they're like a bridge to shit. They know a lot of shit and they into a lot of shit. They know a lot of people. So as far as like them being like stripping, I mean, I hope it's a means to an end. I don't, I, I don't think anybody should do porn forever or strip forever. I think there should always be like transition period. But you know what I'm saying? I feel like people that do porn should just get into acting. Like, get to, you know, you already got your face on the. No, screen. you know, actors don't really respect porn stars. Porn stars. Why? They're fucking on camera, bro. Anybody could do that. Then why don't they do it? <laughs> because it's more of a bag being on a big screen where everybody can see you as opposed to oh, only they don't a respect small it like minimum that. amount of way. people because you have your genitals out. Keep your clothes on, you make more money, pretty much. Some people play strippers in movies and some people have love scenes in movies. So, I mean, what you doing it for? I mean, if you're doing it for the pleasure of it, you know, it's one thing. If you're doing it for the bag, it's, it's bags everywhere. But uh, yeah, okay. That was that was a cool little, you know. And <laughs> again, <laughs> shout out to Cardi B. I fuck with Cardi. I'm like Cardi running the game, man. Like Cardi and uh, the Stallion. Uh, and Megan. What? Megan. Megan <laughs> the Stallion. Called her as a horse. <laughs> the Stallion. <laughs> the Megan like her balls die. Like she be doing that. I, I, oh yeah, I, I, her flow is. Oh. She reminds me of female Pimp C. I could, Go ahead. I could <laughs> she just the crushed she me. This, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not agreeing or disagreeing. I'm just saying I, I never heard that. The shit she be talking about. She sound like a female Pimp C. That crushed me. Um, oh, they was talking about bonnets on the <laughs> BET Awards. They had a segment where like four women came out, but none of them had on bonnets. They was like, why can't we wear our bonnets everywhere? Where's yeah, all this bonnet hate? Representations everywhere. But they didn't, not a single one. And one of them had blonde hair. Anyway. I feel like. But, like, they didn't have. All right, so when I say blonde hair, it's like, none of us, unless we're albino, are born with blonde hair. So that is more mm-hmm. more than likely. You know, there, black there people with blonde There are some black hair? people with blonde hair in the eyes. Naturally? Yeah. That's, that's because they're albino. No. Mm-mm. Yeah, I remember black women. We we hold the Eve gene. We the only ones who could re- create a person from every single race. Pretty okay, much. okay, but for I the most Chinese part, baby. that and that's a a defect. Blonde like hair, that. Uh, it's, it's it's like a, a genetic. It's a genetic. Is your your whatever is not receiving whatever. Okay, I, I don't know the I'm exact science up. behind that shit. What you say, bro? <laughs> uh, don't buy me. Y'all can see it after the footage. Y'all can peep what I said. Don't buy me. <laughs> but y'all go pick that shit up. No, I'm going to get one. But, yeah, I mean, okay, okay, okay. But I, when I be saying black people with blonde hair that's not naturally blonde or whatever, like different colors is cool, I guess. That shit loud sometimes. But, 
I mean, so you're saying like if the person isn't born with it, with blonde hair, that's like a white person getting cornrows or a box braid. A white woman getting cornrows or box braid. What's she trying to do? What you think she's trying? To I do? mean, live her life like they it's say cold, it's culturally it? appropriating, but you gotta look at it, it's kind of two different things. It's like we've been brainwashed at some point in time to want to look a certain way, so some people don't feel comfortable with their natural self because we've been Man. taught to hate ourselves for so long. I love the sisters. Like, I love y'all. That's Natural what, selves. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't need to. I mean, I don't know what y'all need. I mean, I feel like it's a lot. We need self love. That's what we, we need. Yeah, that's what we I'm need saying. to love we each other. We gotta come together. You know what I'm saying? Have each other back. You know what I'm saying? And we gonna, yeah, gonna we'll transcend from there. Like but uh, do. don't little cam yourself. Yeah. I love. I I love the first little count. You don't have the light in your skin. You're not pretty for a dark skin girl. You're pretty, you know. You're not pretty for a black girl. You're just pretty. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? You're, just pr- mm-hmm. you're pretty for a white person. Look. How's that sound? I'm about to say, I taking- definitely told, I say that to dark skin female. I'd be like, oh, you actually look cute for a dark skin. Don't He's say racist that. because <laughs> I, was gonna ask, I was going to ask that shit too because this. Nah, that's facts. This nigga would be like, uh, what's your what's your skin tone preference? Like, if you had a baby, to <laughs> be. <laughs> All right, we gonna just leave it there. But this nigga, but, but, I'm, it, but it's people bro, like I don't, I'm I don't not like, taking. I don't like I don't like dark skin females. I'm not taking beauty advice from nobody who puts fucking pomegranates and guacamole together like i'm sorry i just i can't take <laughs> i was in whole foods and i'm just gonna talk about it you know i was fucking scarred i was on the phone with my mother and i'm like ma they got guacamole with pomegranate seeds on top of this and i sent her a picture it please tell me thing? i was high yeah i was high so i thought i was tripping but nah it was in one container pomegranate seeds and guacamole i just don't think that goes together uh i don't like mayonnaise yeah you like ranch right yeah Definitely. Crazy, because right. the other day I was going to literally try your little method. And I said, fuck no. You tripping? I bet you that shit would have been like at least two times better. See, if I use mayo, I got to mix it with something else. Exactly. So you might as well use ranch anyway. No, ranch mayo. is not a... It's not it's a... It's not a substitute. <laughs> it's an agent. It's a no. substitute. It's not a substitute. That's triflare. <laughs> not on everything. Nasty. Hey, man, look. Um, Ew. So y'all know how the Smithsonian and shit be free? Mm-hmm. But like... If you go to another state, shit oh don't yeah, they be, they hitting your head. Like Atlanta, like I paid, bro. I was sick because I'm thinking we just gonna go in, bro. We had to pay to get everything, the art museums. But I will say that shit was like that, like. But still, we are blessed here in the DMV. Look, if you thought about it, DC would be way more rich. The streets would not be as fucked up if they just charged. You don't even have to be like a non a quarter. Yeah, even even if you charge everybody a quarter, especially since stuff is opening back up, come on, Red Grant, make that shit happen. I play a quarter to get into the Smithsonian. Side note, uh, I think I've only played to ride the Metro train twice, maybe Life. three times, but I've rode it several times. Yeah, remember when they came out with the Smart Trips? I'm probably about to give away some game, but. Y'all remember they came out with the smart trips, bro. I used to use any fucking car and walk smack behind yeah. somebody. Just, I used to just I, it could have been a foot through. action car, a foot like, ugly yeah. car. Yeah. I used to walk smack through, but I feel like I always felt like I don't, I don't, I feel weird paying pay for public transportation. Me too. Why like, is it called public weird. transportation? The fuck? It should be a donation based. <laughs> 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 The fuck, you should pay for cabs and shit like that. But if it's a public hey, transport, whoa. you should be able to get on. If you got something in your pocket, you could donate and donate that hey, shit. Yeah, pay whoa. whatever you can. I got yeah. bag though that shit though. Uh, I had to go to free low, <laughs> free low, yeah, free low. To, yeah, free low. I had to go to uh court for that shit, bro. Fucking just uh, out VA, go to Pentagon Ball and shit. Go right past the little joint like it's nothing. Like I'm at home. <laughs> Oh, nah, don't play with them VA stations. Oh, they, they, they. He was out of pocket, sir. That's my whole life. I've only been to court like three times. That's good, though. That's yeah, good, yeah, I good. had a couple like parking times. tickets and then some one one real thing. Yeah, three times, yeah. Oh, you said parking tickets. Nah, mine was. Twice, nah, mine, mm-hmm. twice was public transportation. One was woof, woof. 
Yeah, same. Mm-hmm. Nah, the other thing, they tried to make me like I was Pablo. I said, what the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck are y'all doing? Hey, the justice system crazy, you know? Forever. Justice system is crazy, so stay out the way, ladies and gentlemen. Please stay out the fucking way because they will fry everybody. You have a three fat. Well, now you know it's a lot more lenient. But back in the G, if you had a J, you going to jail. You're going to jail for a J. Then so. they get people over residue. Uh, a like having like a bag or yeah, something. Like paraphernalia. If you, just... if you have a roll up in your car and it smells like weed, bro. Bro, niggas was going down because it smelled like weed. Now they try and make it so that's mm. not a reason to stop you. Somebody was like, well, now they're going to be like NBA. It smells like guns in here. Just <laughs> bleached them out of the car. Guns? It smells like ammunition <laughs> in this bitch. It smells like what? It smells like gun smoke in here. <laughs> I just niggas say period. Yeah, like, if fans pull you over, just record off, Bucks. Fuck it. Go live. You never know. Yeah, go live. You never know what the fuck happened. Yeah, bro. don't record. Go live. I yeah. love that feature. Cause they could erase the shit out of your shit. Break your phone. Fuck. You done. Fuck this phone. Tom Brady. I know. I always mention him. He's Dude. a goat. This nigga got caught in some shit and broke his phone, so they couldn't get no evidence. I said, "Hey, mo, that's not a goat. I don't know what it is." This when he uh, uh did the thing to the ball. Yeah, when yeah. they were defla- the the deflate gate. Why the fuck was he? Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking emails. Fifteen thousand emails. Shout out to Miss Clinton. You uh, you did your thing too. But uh, shout out to her interns. Cause she yeah, them interns. She ain't, she ain't do that shit. Do she said, thing. "Team, we need this shit gone." They said, "If I don't have a job, it. neither do you. Make it happen, bitch." <laughs> if I go to jail, we're all going down. I'm telling. Yeah, they got us. <laughs> they got they us. Got Come us, on now, y'all. They got us. <laughs> wow, ass. Uh, how y'all feel about the vaccine? Like, nah, bro. Uh, still no. People don't got people still taking them. Yeah, I feel like they wanted fifty percent of the at least fifty percent of the population they wanted to take it. But I mean, this shit is an event. Even though it's not even, it doesn't matter if it's FDA approved or not. But the FDA didn't technically approve this, so it's like, you know, people got it. I know people that got it. You know what I'm saying? Some of my family got it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not with it. I haven't got a flu shot since I was twelve. So. I mean, I feel like everything on this earth is supposed to be natural. We yeah. fucking up. <laughs> like, uh, That's that God complex. You try to take shit into your own hands, you're going to fuck it up every time. We are going to be the reason. I think I, I said it before you heard you me. You said we're going to be the end of the world. Yeah, humans going to be the reason. And that don't big ass fire nothing, bro. We're going to end this well, shit. The rhinoceros is now in danger. No, past in danger. It's extinct. It's extinct, for real? The white rhinoceros? Or yeah, or just the, the, the white. Uh, the, yeah, the white joint. It's extinct now? Stink, but now the last one just yeah. died. Bah, a rhino. Yeah, it's like how y'all drink with the fat ass nose. Yeah, like bebop. You know, bebop rock steady. Yeah, that's crazy. That's like a stink. You know, over over hunting, and, and they have rules in place. Did y'all know that the? I probably said this before, but the Aborigines in Australia. You was talking about Australia. They can hunt legally. The Aborigines. And the Aborigines would be considered like the Indians of Australia, the yeah. natives. Like, I probably said this before, but that shit blows my mind. Like, they can hunt these motherfuckers. Like, hunt what? People. Oh, that's not cool. Oh, hold up, hold up. They can hunt Aborigines? I yeah. thought you were saying, like, look. No, like, unless they changed this law in the past couple of years, it was legal after the year 2000 for them to hunt the Aborigine people. And do whatever. That's so sad. I swear, if everybody, like, all the POC of the world was to just unite, uh, the world would be lit. You know what I'm saying? Should it should be too lit. All the fucking food would be seasoned. Like, think of all the dishes that are made right, not, you know, the people way. You know, <laughs> not those people. Not the bland way. Yeah. What's the furthest I ever walked? The furthest I walked was from... Uh, uh, Stadium Armory to 41 Capitol Heights. What? We kept missing every bus. It, it Shout out Free free Big Bro. So Free Mills, right? So me, Mills, and Mitri. Uh, Mitri is a twin. Uh, 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 little not right hand man. Like, so we we just walking like we kept missing the bus. It was a function down there. I feel like it was a go-go. You know, they used to do shit out Stadium Armory. 
And then every time we try to get on the bus, that joint was just taking off. We was like, all right, we'll just walk to the next joint. By the time we got there, I think we got to Benning Road and finally caught the bus like two stops, three stops away. That shit was crazy. That was a hike. Yeah. That was a bop, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Shout out to Bimo. My longest hike was uh. From uh, Capitol Heights. Well, you know, basically right there by Danewood. Yeah. To Bryce Road, like over there with Maple Ridge and shit is that. Like over there by the Bryce Road Lego store. That was just my, yeah, the longest time. You walked up MLK or something? That's a hike. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> All that Which shit. Which way did I go? Yeah, I think I, nah, I didn't even go MLK. I walked uh, the back of MLK. Mm. <laughs> like you're going towards the uh, uh, sports and learning complex. You had a J with you or something? No, I wasn't even smoking like that back then. I was like, I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't even smoking like that back then. And I was on solo for okay. a bitch. It asked me when she, man, <laughs> that's crazy. That's sometimes you take, place. sometimes you take those those trips. You say you didn't Everything drive, took a trip but you like walk. That. Yeah, man, hell yeah. That's what about crazy. you, Miss Dane? What's the longest hike you took? Mm. Longest hike I took, I bought from South Capitol Street, like by where the, uh, the auto zone at. No, where the auto zone at on South Capitol I know Street. Okay, okay, okay. Y'all walk from there to like Navy Yard. Mm. Mm. I like to walk though. Like okay. when it I is when I got when I got nice, you know, a little pace with me, you know. It was all Main Streets. I ain't really hitting like no, no back, back street. Streets. Yeah, because I'm a little person. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm we saying? We don't like, need I, no mishaps. All right, but yeah, all right. Back so we gonna like that though. <laughs> um, anything else? Y'all want some wild that shit on the back street? Yeah, I seen this. Look, I was walking down the alley, <laughs> coming back my mother house, and it was a lady taking shit at the end of the alleyway. Oh, she was man. like, "Don't look, y'all, don't look." And I'm like, uh, all I could think about was Ezel. I mean, was hey. uh, Smokey. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I could think about was Smokey. Is that you? Hey, boy, Smokey, back here yeah. taking a shit. She was like, "Don't look, y'all. Keep going. Don't look." Yeah, and those are those DC streets for Southeast for yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, man. But uh, it's been another great show. Thank y'all for tuning in. Anything y'all want to say to the people out there? And, uh, send in your fucking music. I'm not gonna music. ask again. We, ain't gonna, we only. I'm getting so bed. upset, buddy. Do you hear me? I'm fucking livid. Send in your shit. I don't do nothing I would do. <laughs> Smoke <laughs> responsibly. Oh, God. Uh, smack Life ENT is the Smack Podcast. Tuna, are you smacked the fuck? And we had to hustle five ways. And we hey. gone.